Hey guys, right now, go to Netflix and check out my new special, Ball Hog. Welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Hey guys, this episode of Your Mom's House brought to you by Sattva, my absolute favorite mattress in the world. You already know if you are listening or watching Your Mom's House that we are huge, huge fans of Sattva. We have been advocates for years because we actually sleep on a Sattva mattress. It is so worth your time and money to get a quality, a high quality, environmentally friendly award-winning customer support mattress in your home for you to sleep on. Literally, our whole staff is sleeping on Sattva products. Uh, we have Lumen Leaf, and he just got um, one of the mattresses. Do you remember the kind that you got? Uh, it was called Zen Haven, and it's oh. literally the best thing I've ever slept in in my life. There you go. Uh, go to Sattva.com, S-A-A-T-V-A.com for the best mattress of your life. If you go to Sattva.com slash YMH, they're giving you $100 off any order of $500 or more. Thank you, Sattva. Squarespace. I love Squarespace. I have built four websites using Squarespace. Squarespace. <laughs> I have built four websites using Squarespace with my own little digits. I don't know HTML coding. I don't know how to do that stuff. But with Squarespace, it's super, super easy. I recommend you use Squarespace to do your blog, to showcase your work. Maybe you're an artist. Maybe you have a physical business that you want to have a website for. Maybe you have a a baby that was just born or a wedding uh, that's coming up. Why not build a website to share information? I absolutely love it. 24-7 award-winning customer service. There's nothing to patch or upgrade ever, which is a big deal because I've used other services. And like you'll go to your website and then it'll be like no plugins. You got to update. I'm like, I don't even know what that means. Um, and their uh, 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 designs are fantastic. So go to squarespace.com slash mom for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code mom to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Wake up, America. The dams have started a virus. The gays and the Asians are trying to ruin life as we know it. <laughs> All from the Wu-Tang virus. Oh, no. You know where it originated from. It ain't from here. They ain't calling it the Birmingham virus. <laughs> it's that that <laughs> I can't even do it. It's so terrible. It's that Wuhan. It's from eating a succulent Chinese meal mm. of bats. Yep. Now we're all here with that fucking chai sneeze. What's up there, Chomo? <laughs> What'd you say? Any the chai sneeze flu? The chai the chai sneeze? Oh, you guys called it the Chinese sneeze. The Chinese sneeze. God mm. damn it. Although I don't think sneezing's a uh, symptom. Uh, I don't know. Is it? I think you just... No, I don't think it is. Coughing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Josh Potter goes, too bad yellow... <laughs> the Wuhan. Oh, the Wuhan. Wuhan. Yeah. Josh goes, it's too bad yellow fever was taken. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. I've heard a uh, boomer cleanser. That's another good one. I like that. My Sharona virus. I like my Sharona virus. That it's one's good. fun. Funner. Yeah, we don't even know that um, if by the time <laughs> that this airs, if like everyone will be dead. <laughs> Nobody listening to us. Yeah. This was recorded on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. So oh. about a week before you're seeing it. And, um, you know, maybe people you know are dead now. Yeah. Um, how stupid do you think people will be on the St. Patrick's Day and go out boozing anyways? Uh, yeah, I saw the video from uh, a couple days ago when they first were like, they were saying, don't congregate in groups of 50 or, you know, like that was yeah. now it's reduced to 10. Who knows by the time this is out? But when it was 50 and they were like, don't go to bars or restaurants, just pick up food. Don't congregate there. And they went to the French Quarter in <laughs> New Orleans and uh, it was just cops all down. They were like, go home. <laughs> like, Stop 
being there's just hundreds of people in bars acting all cajun and shit yeah pretty much uh, <laughs> i'm not retarded <laughs> <laughs> well, St. Patrick's Day is Woo! is kind of an R word holiday. It is the, the celebration of R's. The yeah. R's love they really this love fucking it. holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the lacking. idea that you're like, it's a drinking day. <laughs> yeah, stupid. Yeah. Every day's yeah. a drinking day. You, you can make any fuck. day of the year yeah. a drinking day. It's America, man. Kiss me, I'm Irish. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's the stupidest thing in the world. It is a world. celebration of dumb. That's it what really it is. is. And is it is there Saint a, a, a drunk is that the point saint I guess patrick so. was a, a booze bag or he something he was just stupid? some fucking mouth breathing burping drunk yeah. yeah they're so fucking proud to be irish just like the italians are so into being italian it's just and... so stupid i mean you had nothing to do with it it's no credit to you i'm so proud to be irish why <laughs> yeah you guys are I a bunch mean, of drunks I mean, well i mean just like Your let's say sucks. let's say you are so what yeah you didn't do anything like you were just born that way. Yeah, I think the whole idea of nationalities is going to be over in another generation or two. Anyways, we're becoming a world. I've world said it. Citizen. I mean, I think that celebrating your nationality, like really, really laying into it, is like <laughs> celebrating some genetic benefit of you. Like right. if you're if you're tall and you're like, I'm so fucking proud to be tall. <laughs> yeah. and like you're so stupid. Like this yeah. has nothing to do with you. You, you, you just it just happened. And people are like, nothing makes me more proud than my fucking Italian lineage. Well, what? and nine times out of 10, they're not even 100% from. Like, you'd be like, oh, where your parents not only that, from? Were you born there? No. Of course, they're, no, they're never born there. I'm a quarter this and that. And you're like, you, Everybody's got a little fucking Irish in them. Come on, man. And not then me, you, according to my 23. Well, yeah, I but I'm saying, Hungarian. like, it doesn't, you didn't do anything. It's, it's not. <laughs> It's not an accomplishment. I mean, it's not. It's one thing to be proud. Hey, I graduated medical school. Hey, that's great, man. Yeah, it's not an accomplishment. Right. You, you're saying, I'm so proud that I was born and I'm alive still. <laughs> that's what you're so proud of. You made it to this point. Now, are there any Peruvian pride holidays like this? No. I mean, they must. They have. I remember their Independence Day is, you know, a different time of year. And yeah, that's like a big, that's a big deal there. <laughs> I mean, they don't celebrate July 4th? Like well, we I just forget. I think it might also be in July. <laughs> That's the thing. You know, I'm so stupid. I do think like, what? How come Canadians don't celebrate? Yeah, you know, no, they what? have Canada Day. Yeah. <laughs> they got their I own dumb feel like Thanksgiving that's, too. That's also in spring or summer, <laughs> I think, right? Well, look up Canada Day. When is that? Oh, Canada, you have a day. July 1st. See, it's yeah. a few days before. And look up Peruvian Independence Day and see how far off I was. I thought it was- The a, Hungarians yeah. have St. Stefan's Day. In August. Let's see. That's see, it's dope. in July, so I was right. It's in that time of year. Dope. Yeah, they throw down and they're like, oh, you know, we fucking told the Spicks to leave us alone. <laughs> they, they have their Wait little, a minute. They aren't do their little dance. But aren't the Peruvian Spicks? Well, yeah, yeah, but the Spicks came there and gave them the language and the religion. Oh, sure, the Spaniards. Yeah, you mean. yeah. And then, you know, killed some of the fucking natives and then um, set them on fire, drowned them, killed them all. The Incas. Yeah. And like then, the Wapa. Then they gave them spit culture and, yeah. you know, Christ and all that. And they took off. We're super proud. <laughs> um, spit culture. I like yeah. spit culture, though. It turned out well. Yeah. Well, it did. I like it. Yeah, it's great. You guys are doing good. You guys are doing good. <laughs> Could have been colonized by a way worse culture. Could have been colonized by my tribe. They're come in such savages. Give you guys Adidas jackets. The Spanish are fucking savages. I know. I mean, they were like um, psychopathic serial killers for fun. They would <laughs> they would just be like, "All right, fill this room up with gold, and then we'll leave." And the Incas were like, "Okay," and then they're like, eh, "Let's just let's just decapitate them all." <laughs> they just fucking. They would laugh and cut hands off, and then you know. Put, that's in your yeah. blood oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah <laughs> how how bummed are you that starbucks is on kind of a lockdown i almost killed two baristas in the last two days and mm -hmm. i've been trying to be real nice about it you know like giving them fat tips yeah just trying to you know sell you keep the keep the business that you can going i've been doing the order out and i give tips to everybody um but yeah it's i i was i was a bit worried that yeah i had to walk kill him. i walked the lady through the order today oh boy real really held her hand through it too you know i bet 
I was like, and she was like, is, and then the, the, and then the ice. Yeah. <laughs> it's an ice drink. You put ice in it. Oh no. Yeah. Jesus. She fully real, talked. Real R worded. Totally talked. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so we got a lot to go into. Um, where I, am I here? I do like yellow fever for what this is. I'm so bummed that it is taken. <laughs> He's right about that. Josh is right. He is right. Yeah. All right, you ready to do this? Oh, I'm super stoked to talk about something other than virus. Let's do it. Mike, did you put poop on our garbage? <laughs> did you put poop? Fuck away from me. Did you put poop on our garbage can handle? <laughs> did, did you put poop on our garbage can handle? <laughs> is that why you put poop on our garbage can handle? Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. <laughs> your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> That, this is an exciting clip. I love confrontation. I love no. irrational anger. You? I love threats of violence between neighbors. And this has it all. Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks, I mean, did you put poop on my garbage can handle? Let's keep, let's keep diving down this path. On the because handle. This is pretty great. You're the only motherfucker that burns <laughs> around here. You guys should burn clean. Because you burn so fucking much. You burn dirty, man. That's dirty. Look at that dirt coming out of there. It's only beginning for you, man. It's only fucking beginning for you. We're just not going to take what the fuck you do. Whoa. I feel like there's a California thing. Hey, he has he has Cali vibes. Yeah. <laughs> this might be our state. Uh, uh, he's so upset. And he's got you all his You burn teeth. dirty, bro. Yeah. You're the only you're one. Just gonna wipe poop on hey, our, you're just going to wipe poop on our... You're just going to wipe... My house, my house just, is all closed up. This is our garbage can. I don't know what can. you're talking it, about poop, but my house is all closed up. I can't even open a fucking window because you're a stupid fucking ass. Dude, are you half retarded? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely California. Well, first of all. It was nice that it's only half. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, only a Californian would be super mad that somebody is not being environmentally conscious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's that fired up that this guy is not. Uh, being an and look eco friendly, you can tell he spends a lot of time in the sun. He's outdoors yeah, he's a lot. Yeah, throwing down. Yeah, I love this. Cause you, you fucking act half retarded. Really? <laughs> look, <laughs> matter with look you? at yourself, Mike. Dude, my IQ is so fucking high. You're fucking retarded. <laughs> you are high. Dude, hey, let me just, tell you something. Hey. Look at that fucking chin, you dumb shit. I can't even open a window. You're making it so I can't fucking have fresh air. You think this is okay? This ain't fucking okay. <laughs> I like that. My IQ is so Can I hear that again? High. I like that. <sighs> god damn it, man. My IQ is so fucking high. Oh my god. That is just the best. Why is that not? Uh... Dude, my IQ is so fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're half retarded. Because you, you fucking act half retarded. <laughs> really? What look, does it matter with look you? No, a it guy is that not. burns as much as you should burn clean. It's black. Understand this, bro. <laughs> he, hey, don't fucking understand it. And don't talk to me anymore. Clean the poop off our garbage can. You better not. If you even fucking come near me and address me, you're gonna be in fucking trouble, dude. It's such a California argument. To have. Yeah, he's so fucking pissed. You're not burning clean, bro. You're burn clean, bro. <laughs> you think you can call us names and white dude, poop only on our garbage can? Going. This is gonna keep going. You're gonna be getting flipped off, and I'm gonna. So, so you're in, so you're you. admitting bro, to this? I'm gonna it's torment going, you. So fucking, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm gonna fucking flip you off and fucking curse you every yeah, chance I get. Why? Because I can't open a fucking window in my house. <laughs> Holy shit. That is annoying, though. Yeah, yeah, it's annoying, but it's also, man, it's fucking crazy. 
It is crazy. I know. I like fresh air, motherfucker. <laughs> and you're dumb. A person who burns as much as you you're guys should line burn clean. Your mouth. Yo, you get over there, old man. I hope you have a heart attack. You're really good at sticking <laughs> your nose in other people's fucking business. So shut the fuck you're up. You're my business. <laughs> you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Hey, back the fuck off. Don't come over by my house. I'm sick of your fucking smoke. I ain't gonna fucking take it. Dude. Can I tell you, I'm on this guy's side 100%. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I feel his vibes. I'm like, yeah, dude, why is this guy burning trash? It's not Is he burning legal. trash? I don't think he's burning trash. Well, why is he not burn why is he not burning clean? He's he's his chimney stuff is like is coming out black. So he has a dirty yeah, dirty wood. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, you're not burning clean, bro. Yeah. yeah. I agree with him. But this is I mean, come on, this level, this guy's at it. He's at a no. ten about it. I mean, Jesus, we're, man. We're all in a pressure cooker right now. God, back off, old man. I hope you have a heart attack. I mean, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you ever wished that on your neighbors? Oh, many times. Yeah. But, you know, I just I write notes. I put it in their mailbox. I don't actually <laughs> yell it to them. Yeah. So rude. So understand, motherfucker. Do not wipe poop on my garbage understand, can. Okay? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, poop. You, you don't touch our property. For you. You're going to be flipped off every day, and you're going to be heckled. And you're going to fucking understand that you're not going to fucking do that to us. How about a restraining order? How about fucking burning some clean wood? <laughs> hey, Mike, I'm going to get a restraining I'm going to get a restraining order on you, you okay? You get somebody to fucking deliver it. Yeah, I, I, I will. I know all about it. I will. I know all about it. <laughs> I've had restraining orders before. Jesus Christ. Oh, he, said, he said that? Yeah, he's like, oh, have someone is. deliver it. I know all about it. Hilarious. Been through this process a few times. Hilarious. God. Let me tell you something, motherfucker. They can't do anything to me because I haven't done anything yes, illegal. Yes, they can. That's fucking illegal. Blow hey, old man, ass, have a Rick. fucking heart attack, you Blow stupid it fuck. Ass, Rick. Fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Dude, you're so ugly. She's your problem. Dude, you got what's wrong with your kid? Did you drop oh. his fucking head, you stupid fuck? <laughs> I have to say that. Shit. I've wanted to say these things to people <laughs> so much. We all do. I know. I, I kind know. of enjoy it. I like these. Like, you fucking, no, it's, it's hope fun you fucking to die, Look, you fuck. I'm like, I this like is this. why World Star is huge. <laughs> it is all. It is this kind of shit that most of us restrain ourselves from saying. You know. Yeah. I wanted to say this to neighbors that I haven't even met yet. <laughs> you stupid fuck. God, I have a fucking heart attack. Yeah. Your kid's fucking retarded. I can't believe I there's it. so much more left. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> Jesus. How much yeah. more does he have to say? I don't know. <laughs> You're so dumb, dude. You got your nose in every people's <laughs> business. Go over there and sit in your fucking house, business. you dumb retired motherfucker. All you do is stick your nose in people's business. Do something about it. You're stupid. Do something about it. Fuck, I already am. I'm telling you how do dumb you are. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. No, I'm loving not. it. You're I'm telling mouth. you how stupid you you're are. You're all fucking mouth. Dude, I'm loving telling you how stupid you are, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and he does look stupid. I will say he does look retarded. The way he's dressed is not far off from a lot of R words I've seen on the talk. <laughs> What? He's got those high, 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 high <laughs> jeans, those dad denims, and his belt is really high. I feel and like white sneaks. He looks like a total artist. That you don't understand the tug at my heart right now that is going, please let the angry guy use his guitar and smash it over that guy's head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, tell me that's where this is going, that he is going to bash that man with a guitar. <laughs> It's like not. inside, it's going like, please, 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 please. <laughs> your heart. That's what your heart wants. <laughs> oh. I feel like that matters to me. You know how many people I've dealt with in my I'm life like you? I'm a broken heart because Dude, go retire things. and stop sticking your nose in other people's this business. Is my business. This is between me and them. This has nothing to do oh, with you. Oh, everything to do with me. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Blow it up your ass. <laughs> Blow it up fuck your ass. You, it's old and I'm school. gonna start tormenting your fucking ass. You think you're dude, smart? Oh. Hey, dude, you think you're fucking with somebody who. I love confrontation, bro. Yeah. I fucking savor it. Apparently. So now you're barking up. Hey, hey, dumb motherfucker, you're barking up a tree that you shouldn't be. I'm making no threats. I'm telling you, I love confrontation. Yeah. <laughs> we all know that. Mm -hmm. God, how much of a nightmare would it be to have him as a neighbor, though? Mm -hmm. These kinds of guys that, that really do. I mean, this guy would be. You would move just to get away from the psycho man. God mm -hmm. damn. <laughs> no more wiping poop on our garbage I don't know can. What you're talking about. But every time you come to work, you're going to get flipped off, and I'm going to fucking heckle the shit out of you. I know you're half retarded. That would make you about 100% retarded. What happened, man? I enjoy conversation and shit, you fuck. We're not, not going to stand idly by and let you burn dirty wood, dude. Dirty wood. I mean, I hope he's at least brought it up 
a few times to go to this level, right? Like, yeah, I would hope that the guy's like, hey, you're burning dirty wood. And then you go, oh, am, I mean. Yeah, it's not number one. I hope not. Not out of the gate. Well, now you got me hoping. No, you're just going to wipe poop on our garbage thing. can. Hey, don't fuck. Right. You're supposed <laughs> to burn hardwood in a fireplace, not pine. Do you understand clean burning, half do, retard? Do you think what half you're... Half retard! Hey. Do you understand clean burn? When I talk, you don't talk, okay? okay? You talk. Do you think what you're doing is right? No, but this is a result of your action, dumb fuck. <laughs> Tom, you got my hopes up on that guitar thing. Oh, and man. It's not happening. It really, really... I don't know if we can contact him and ask him to do that, <laughs> but that <laughs> that really was... It was set up for it, so man. So stop burning shitty burning fucking wood, because this wouldn't happen. <laughs> Do you see any, let me ask, do you see anybody else's chimney black, dude, like yours? <laughs> do you want to answer that question? No, because you're a fucking half retard. <laughs> it ain't okay, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Because you're, uh, uh, you're a fucking half retard. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Oh, man. <sighs> God. You know, it is such a act, half <laughs> it is such a gamble when you buy a house or you move into a new place and you don't you don't know what your neighbor's situation is going to be. You're you just really lucky don't. if you no. don't have something like this, because I think in every place we've ever lived, there's always been one maniac that ruins your experience. Of course. Of oh, course. remember like how do you like your life, Jenny? That was Redondo. Yep. We had the woman cooking her stinky Lithuanian food through the walls. In Silver Lake. Yep. Carondelet, or we're in the Rampart Division. What do we have there? I like that I could hear Gang her come. He, she would come sometimes <laughs> real loud. <laughs> our, uh, <laughs> our neighbor at, she on, did. on, what's it called? Silver Lake. Silver, Silver Lake. Lake, yeah. She fucking. <laughs> she looked through the walls. Right through the walls. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. She really would throw down. Mm hmm. Yeah. She knew how to come hard. She did. And then she, ah! <laughs> yeah. she would wow. run on her treadmill, too, remember? Nice and early. Do, 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 do. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Fucking, fucking idiot. Bitch. I would have smashed a guitar over her head if I could have. Easily. Such an asshole. I get it, though. Neighbors are the worst, aren't they? It's terrible. Yeah. Especially. She was, she was going through a divorce, remember? Oh, that's why she was fucking everybody yeah, through the yeah. walls. Yeah. But remember the, um, do you like your life, Jenny? Like yeah. that guy, I wanted to murder him daily. He was the worst neighbor I have ever had. He would blast his dumb music. He would blow snot rockets by our window <laughs> at six in the morning and then swim his dumb donkey laps in his pool. Yeah, that was how. And then <laughs> smoke his That pot was how he would cranked. wake up. So every yeah. morning when he, um, during the week, work week, he would get up and like 5.30, oh 6, you would God. hear a big splash. He would jump into his pool and he would swim laps. And then he would go like, <laughs> like clean out his nose. And our the window's pool. right there. Yeah, so we were like, ugh. So you'd hear the splash, <laughs> then the snot rockets, and then he'd be like, ah, like just. Oh, and then come the weekend. Weekend, he would party every Margaritaville, weekend. and it was the same soundtrack. He had a playlist. Yes. Same playlist every weekend. Every, and the worst Jimmy Buffett Jimmy Nonsense. Buffett and then like some Led Zeppelin and like it was the same song, some Eagles songs and <sighs> and you're like, here we go. And then, you know, yeah, he drink it up, smoke. Yeah, with his kids. He and their, their adult children would get ripped together and then yeah. you hear those donkeys laughing until two in the morning. It's fucking unreal. And we and it was you're half retarded. And we yeah. didn't have air conditioning. So we'd have to sleep with our windows open in yeah. the summer and I'd hear these dickheads out there laughing. I, I don't know how many times I'd poke my head over. So many times. Like, dude, it's Sunday, the Lord's now, Day. Now, see, here's the funny thing. Of this video, she is the guy with the guitar <laughs> because the she's much more confrontational. Very aggressive oh, with fuck. me. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's why I like him. I get it. I would fucking do this in a minute. You're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> she leaned over that wall a few times. Oh, hey, yeah. guys, we got to work if yeah. you don't mind. Yeah. yeah, and I was pregnant, and they're doing Margaritaville, yeah, and I'm trying to like, sleep. Oh, okay. Oh, hell no. But they were drunks. They were booze bags, man. They, they were. were. And thank God our son was born in wintertime when yeah. we had Ellis, because otherwise we'd have to sleep with our windows open, and my baby can't sleep because you're partying. Yeah. Man, I wanted to kill those assholes. It's so it's, rude. It's It was rude. I they're, hate they rude they were rude. Um Things have been like so weird the last few days. It's so it's so bizarre. Why? What's going on? Anything? No, it's just like to see you know living in Los Angeles, seeing like streets empty, seeing um, commercial areas just completely 
you know, you see like two, three people walking around. It's just bizarre. This, this, there is this funny thing though right now where I do feel like there is this unspoken sense of togetherness in yeah. a weird way, you know? It is actually nice to see because, you know, for all the, the reports about greedy people and hoarders and snagging everything up, I think a lot of people are actually very considerate. And it's Look nice. Look at you. Yeah. It's I, nice you know, to see. Tommy, I got to say, I would never have expected you to share such a kind thought right now. I swear to God, I, I was I was waiting for the bit. I was like, I better no. be quiet. He's going to set cue this up for a video of some guy pissing on a girl or <laughs> violence or something. No, I'm serious. This is a sincere thought in your head. It is a sincere thought in my head, yeah. Aww. And I actually, I really enjoy, I mean, it makes me feel good to know that so many people are thinking of other people you know i say i think so too i love angelinos we've always come together in times of crisis 1994 we had an earthquake people came together we had the riots people came together we've had fires we've had kobe bryant's death mm -hmm. and uh, we always come together angelinos Very, yeah we're i think this is a great city this is it's not only angelinos i think uh it's nationwide and worldwide where people oh, are fuck everyone else it's just not los angeles doesn't okay. count well, I, I tend to think of like the whole the whole group and, um, you know, uh, there's a lot of things you can do. You know, you can think like be considerate of uh, especially the older vulnerable population right now. Um, when you shop, you don't have to. It's not going away. You don't have to panic shop like you yeah. can get that out of your system now. Um, uh, yeah. You know, it's just We've try, been to, try to well. help out. Yeah. Try to help out where you can. You know, we're still ordering out. Trying to yeah. help people. Trying to help people by ordering out. I order Chinese food on purpose just to send a message. <laughs> I'm not afraid. <laughs> we it's ordered really it nice. to the studio. Yeah, you can order groceries as a group. You can send one person to buy. Um, yeah. That's a nice home. thought. Yeah. And yeah, if you're going out in your building, hey, check on the old person. You need something. There's, is that what um, you mean? Yeah, water from the tap is clean to drink, so you don't have to <laughs> oh, that's buy good. tons of water from the store. That's a good point. Um, yeah. And you can see, uh, I don't know, you can, you can uh, jerk off in groups. That's right. That's always encouraged in times of crisis. I think I heard Dr. Fauci say that. You can <laughs> ration your lube. You can, you can put some on your stuff and then reach over to your neighbor and put it on theirs. <laughs> the CDC recommends circle mm -hmm. jerks right now. That is a big thing. Speaking of jerks and speaking of circles of it, um, this is a really exciting video. I don't need you to make me come, okay? You, you wanna know what I need? I need you, when you finish on my body, I need you to go grab a fucking towel from the bathroom and wipe it off me so I don't fucking drip like a candle all over your bed. Yeah, finally. You know, I've been waiting for women to articulate this thought. I've, I have never articulated it, but she's right. Mm -hmm. Just let me fucking That's all drip. I want, all I require is towel delivery service. That's all that it takes to have me come back over at a later time. Wow. Give me the goddamn fucking towel. Mm -hmm. I have cum all over my face. <laughs> okay, that's so rude. Mm. It is disgusting when somebody can just come on you and then they just walk away and go play Clash of Clans on their phone. <laughs> no, bitch, get me your fucking towel. <laughs> She is she, right. I like her a lot. I like her a lot, too. I think she's really cool. All these feminists, no one's saying what's really important. Yeah. She's, she's the great. Betty Friedan. One, that magenta one I saw when I took a shit earlier in here. <laughs> I want you to go bring that one to me right now and wipe your semen off me. She's right. You know, also, I like her eyeliner. It kind of reminds me of mine in my new special, Ball Hog. <laughs> um, God damn it. It's out today. Oh, it's out, it came out yesterday. Um, then the, uh, the makeup ordeal... <laughs> been a lot of fun god damn it this fucking thing man i got fucked on this <laughs> <sighs> motherfucker so i shot um i shot ball hog in november in um austin at the moody theater austin city limits show up and uh so for most people that don't know you know as, when you're a guy and you show up on a production, any type of production, TV, film, um, you know, being a guest on talk shows, there's always a two-step thing, wardrobe, makeup, right? So you go, what, like, what are you wearing? You get into your wardrobe, and then they go, go to the makeup trailer or the chair, whatever. Every movie, 
every TV show, every, every special. Conan O'Brien, oh. where is it? All the guys, you know. Everybody. Everybody's wearing makeup. So I don't, I've never have thought about it. And I've also never given input. I've never been like, oh, uh, today, if you don't mind, I'm, uh, I'm looking for a little spritz of this <laughs> and a brush of that. Like, you just sit in the chair and it's 90% of the time it's a woman, 95% of the time. And you just talk to people as you're as they're like powdering you up and you're like yeah yeah so so it's my special i have uh i get in wardrobe they clean my beard hair and then there's a makeup artist and she's just like okay i'm like yeah just i don't know do whatever you do i don't even talk i i don't even worry about it i just start talking to other people and there's a lot going on you know there there uh when we shot that there was a big problem with yonder the um the phone case that they take your phone. So there's 2,600 people at each show and they're like, there's one line and their, their ticketing system's outdated. So people were waiting like, for, I don't know. So there's all this chaos of that. Then I'm talking to the, you know, the director of photography about the lighting and then the director. I'm just talking to people about different things. This lady finishes my makeup. I mean, I see everybody I know, my agent, my manager, my, the Netflix has five executives there. There's, um, you know, for Josh Potter is there. There's, I mean, there's just, I'm seeing people, I'm talking to people. Nobody says a word to me about my face. And I don't recognize it. I don't look at my face enough. Um, I don't, you know, I'm not like, there's days where I walk around where you're like, are you going to wipe that off your face? I'm like, I, don't, <laughs> I haven't even looked at my face today. Yeah. So, I, I taped the spe the first up the first uh, show and then the second show. I still don't know anything, and then we go out to uh, have a drink afterwards. And as I'm having the drink, I'm taking photos with people. And when I I take one myself, and when I look at my my own photo on my phone, I go, "Oh shit!" <laughs> and I'm, I'm and people are with me. They're like, "What?" I'm like, "Is this what I look like?" Like I'm seeing it for the first time on the phone and they're like, you look fine. I'm like, this doesn't look fine to me. And, and I'm like, Jesus, man, like immediately I'm like, is this, is this normal? And they're like, yeah, yeah, you look great. I'm like, oh boy. And then I get into the color correction and I'm like, this looks fucked up, you know? And we do a whole color correction at like a top coloring place in Los Angeles. It looks f f okay, and then they put it on YouTube, and, and I'm like, this looks really fucked up. And they're like, actually, this doesn't match the master. So then I have to go back to the color house, and they pull up on the same device the file we delivered and what's on YouTube, and they don't match. So I'm like, well, what's that? And the guy goes, oh, I've been doing this... Um, 20 years and I've never seen that. I'm like, oh, that's nah. cool. It's a fun thing to be a first at. So we do uh, 10 more color sessions. 10 more, 12 total. Literally, going back and forth, 12 and back passes. and forth, and back yeah. and forth. Does this one look normal? Yeah. Christina, look at this one. Yeah, yeah. We call other people in. Does this look normal? I start sending it to people. Like? Like, what do you think of this? And people are like, do you just drink Kool-Aid? I'm like, no. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it was yeah, it was insane, nutty. And then, so then you have like the colorist is literally like um, telling me things that they're doing. I'm like, yeah, but why does it look like this on this? And they're like, I don't know. I've I've never had someone go like, I don't know why it looks bad on this one and good on this one. I'm like, <laughs> all right, man. So at a certain point, um, they sent me so many different things to look at. I just go, dude, just put it up. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. Um, I still can't believe that having the, all those people around me, nobody, nobody was like, you look kind of insane right now. I know. Um, what bothers me is I think because you were surrounded, this is just my theory. Yeah. You were surrounded by dudes mm -hmm. and dudes are not going to be like, let me look at your face. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. If, if I had fucking been there I know, I know, and I saw that, I'd be like, what is she doing? Like you, this is crazy. Yeah. 
because that's my job. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like I failed you as a wife. No, you I did. wasn't there. You did. And you're the first person. <laughs> I'm so mad. That, that I feel like should be heckled by the audience. Me? <laughs> I wasn't there. No. I wish I could have um, been there. I would have put a stop to. Yeah. No, there's not much more I can do. <laughs> it's just fucking, it's just up. Um, and the, that's the story. So um, for people that are like, why is there makeup? Because makeup is standard. I mean, like, I, mean, just I did it. four movies last year. You go to the makeup trailer. I did, um, you know, a couple television shows. It, there, there's all, but it's usually like, like I said, like for a guy, they do the powder. Yeah. And then, you're, you know, there's last looks before you go on stage and. Like, like Drew came in here yesterday and we shot Dr. Dr. Dark. He had makeup on because he had just come from CNN yeah, or yeah. something or whatever. No, he I had know. done television. I just but never had it go sideways Because they before. usually put on men yeah. under eye stuff for your dark circles yeah. and then like toner, like to tone your skin so yeah. that you're not pink. But she just went over. I don't know why she I gave have no you idea. so much. I it have wasn't no necessary. Idea. It was fucking crazy. Um, yeah, it's like powder. It's it's literally so the reason they do it so you're not sweating during yeah. production and you don't look like a sweating beast. Yeah. You don't look all Burt Kreischer. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? It's like, did you see what I just did there? I invented. Yeah. They take the shine down off your face just to make sure you're not Can looking Can you imagine crazy. how much of a Nazi I'm going to be moving forward? Uh, yeah. As you should like be concerned with your appearance. Oh, my God. Every time they're going to be like, and when you go to make, I'll go, I don't do make, like, like, like <laughs> oh my God. You're going to be all traumatized. Oh yeah. I thought I knew it right. Away. So when, um, when we brought to their attention that it looks, uh, yeah, when it lo we, we were like, this looks insane. Um, Netflix took down the trailer, right? They took down the trailer from their platform, from YouTube, um, all those. And then <laughs> somebody, uh, reposted the trailer and they cut me out of my parts talking and they posted i'm not diminishing pet this. love pet Aww. love is real i have a dog that i adore this one i thought but was here's funny here's the difference between my love for that dog and my kids if that dog were to it's hurt a fucking one geisha. of my kids immediately and without question god damn it god damn the it. amount of makeup shit that's going to be sent to me now <sighs> it's how it goes it's yeah god damn it so that's the story that's why there's makeup that's why there's um there really was uh, a makeup issue and a coloring issue and uh they did 12 passes of color uh. on this which i've never heard of being done ever never i mean the director never. of my the director of the special he directs a lot of commercials and he does a lot of special effects and he does music videos. And he sent me a message like when we were going through one of the last ones. He's like, I've never seen anything like this happen before. And I was like, "That's it feels good. <laughs> it's so horrible. And so. like, you know, you're so focused on just shooting your special. Yeah. You're not, you don't want to be thinking about how you look that day. No. That's why you have a team of people so that they do it for you and you trust them. And I feel like that bitch fucked you up. She fucked me and up. And I'm gonna bad. go fucking cut her. She fucked and me up. Make bad. up her fucking face. I'm gonna tattoo that juggalo stuff on her face. And by the way, when I when I talked, I'm to, so mad. I talked to the whole group of people that were there. I'm like, how did you guys? Yeah. Not. Nobody said shit. Say anything, and they're like, we didn't notice. Guys, All that's the, because they're dudes. Yeah. Dudes don't notice anything. Yeah. Yeah. So. <sighs> Can I tell you what's hilarious though? Mm. The complete opposite happens to me when I shoot anything. Yeah. All it is is how I look. That's all anybody oh, right. cares about. Girl, you look great. I got like, look, look, look. And I'm like, what about my jokes? It's funny. Right. Literally, I had a makeup artist on my first special. He was doing my makeup. And I and he goes, you look great. I'm like, that's okay as long as my jokes go well. And he goes, huh, like anybody's listening to what you're going to say. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. And I was like, you know, yeah. I'm a stand-up comic, right? Like, I'm not a stripper. Yeah. Well, actually, it makes me think of, it makes me empathize more with women. That's because horrible. Because I realized that so many people were like, look at your fucking face. And you're like, yeah, I've never, yeah. no one's ever pointed that out to me before. Oh. You know, no one's ever been like, oh, your face, your eyes, your lip, you know, no one says <laughs> no, that to you. No. So when it's happening to you, you're like, Jesus, this is, is this all your 
you're thinking about? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's all we're looking at, your fucking face. It's all people give a shit about. Like when I put out a special, it's yeah. the, all the comments are how great you look. And it's like, but what about these jokes I've crafted for right. the last and they're like, three no, no, years? No. no. <laughs> I hope I get cute. a lot of messages <laughs> just about my looks. Oh, you will. Yeah. Welcome to my world, bitch. Someone else did a fucking, uh, what is it called? Um, a poster where they put the, the special uh, with the Netflix logo and then they just put John Wayne Gacy wearing his clown makeup. Oh, how dare they? Yeah. I will say it's, he's it's like <laughs> waving. <laughs> it is a really, really funny special. It's yeah. so, I think it's your best yet. I think they get better and better and yeah, no, it's, it it's, is the best. Yeah. And it's, I'm so excited people can see it and yeah, me too. Yeah. Down. And thanks, uh, you know, thanks everyone for watching it. If you're watching it, uh please share it with your friends and you know tell people about it it always helps um to get like that referral stuff you know like email text um you know just send it to your friends have people uh spread awareness about it it really helps a lot actually. Uh, but they have to they have to do makeup on you when you do these shows because you're under so many lights and stuff if you don't do it you just sweat i've, and look like I've shit. never heard of it not being done yeah I've never it's like a it. given yeah. You have to, otherwise you're going to look, and plus the camera's so close on you, they see yeah. every imperfection, every pore. Yeah. You don't want people seeing your eye bags and shit. You know, another weird thing that's, that's happening now, speaking of like touring and everything and uh, stand-up, is we don't get to do stand-up, period. <laughs> I know. For like, I'm not <laughs> saying make a living and all that, which is definitely done, but like we don't even get to do the reps. Which and so most weird. of us have will never have gone this long without doing stand up. Oh, no. You know what I mean for like cuz they're not opening the clubs up for we know the rest of this month, the rest of next month. So, if you think about that, having that break is just it is a such a shift. We can't you don't get to practice it. You can't practice it without the audience. You can't. I know, you can't be you know? alone and practice. No. I'm going to go crazy cuz I get to get I get real angry. I, mean, I don't um, do stand up for a while. Yeah, of course. Does this uh you think this is possibly why There uh, we go. There's the started. Seriously? Seriously? You going to stand there on the food with your boots? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I'm filming that shit. No, did you wash it? That's stupid. Oh, you wash it so it's okay. Now you going to kick it? Okay. That's the cookie. Please don't buy it. Yeah, Ugh. and uh, I don't want to be, you know, judgmental. Sure. But he looks like the kind of people that started it, you know uh. what I mean? <laughs> uh -oh. he was stand if you're listening, he is at a grocery store standing with his boots on fish. Yeah. Uh, in, like he's fixing something in the electrical Wall, like in the wall and he's standing on fish yeah he's creating a succulent chinese meal he is creating it's gonna get us all sick a succulent eating chinese bats meal. did you eat fucking bats when you were there in a dog just snake <laughs> no christina just snake and turtle shell oh my god <laughs> <laughs> this literally it's Nadav's fault and when did you come back around december right around when the outbreak mm. started happening in, <laughs> in the states interesting yeah <laughs> interesting <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Hmm, and you were feeling a little weak on the plane. Oh, actually. not a little. You were fucked up. Oh, yeah, it, it sucked. Did yeah. you have a cough? Fatigue. Uh, not cough, but body aches. You know? <laughs> I was gonna go to like the counterfeit markets on my last day, and I didn't because I felt so shitty. Oh, oh, that must have been a big uh, blow to you. because yeah, well, you love your counterfeit. Stuff. I, I really do. It's actually kind of a bummer that I've been wearing all this Danny gear because, like, I really miss wearing my Supreme jacket. <laughs> You really, really got into that. <laughs> Jesus, man. Uh, check this out, Gene. This is from the top. <laughs> Stupid. Look at everyone else just standing there. Of like, course. Yeah, where is that? Of... Do you know where that is? It looks like Africa. Yeah. What makes you say that? Because everybody's black. Oh. Like African looking black, not like American looking. Uh, like all skinny and stuff. Have you heard of? <laughs> and their language and stuff. 
Are you listening? I've been to Africa. I can say that. I have been <laughs> I can say that. to Africa. I just for for the record, I've been to Djibouti. Yep. I've been to South Africa. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's note by Ethiopia. the way that you um you world traveler. You celebrated when the bite happened. Yeah. Don't fuck with lions, dipshit. What's yeah. he putting his hand in there for? What are you, crazy? He did put his hand into a cage. First of all, they usually don't let you get that close to the lions. Right. What country would they let you get super close to a lion in? Uh, Perhaps not one with strict laws and stuff. <laughs> Maybe an underdeveloped nation. Yeah. 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 And this motherfucker also put his hand into <laughs> the cage. <laughs> 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 he lost that hand for sure. Sure. <laughs> Got a bad bite. <laughs> that dude is fucked. <laughs> yep. Oh, shit. That was great. That was great. He's so fucking dead. Can we see it again? I want to see the lion get his hand again. You want to see it again? Mm hmm. Okay. This was on TikTok, too. Yeah. What the fuck is he what doing? Is he, why would you put your hand in it? Hey yeah. <gasps> <gasps> Everyone's got their phones. Yeah. They're like, check him out. This dude's gonna lose his hand right now. Stupid. Little kid leaning in. Yeah, wouldn't that be awesome to see at the zoo if you were a little kid? Oh my god, you will never forget that day. We went to the zoo <laughs> oh with my family on the weekend and then we saw the lion eat a man. <laughs> They, I do like a third world zoo, though. They do cool shit, mm -hmm. man. They don't give a fuck. They'll like unleash goats in the <laughs> fucking <laughs> lion den. <laughs> They're like, watch this. <laughs> well, remember? <laughs> the worst zoos on the oh, planet. Oh, yeah. Remember when we were in fuck. Africa? Oh, God. Don't depress me. And they're like, you need to go on a safari out here. I was like, no, I don't. Yeah. I don't need to be driving up next to well, the lions and the, shit. Theirs are actually, that is top tier stuff. Oh, well, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. South African safaris trust and so that far. yeah 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 i feel like i don't need to i got it yeah this is not I South see Africa. that shit on tv no uh -huh. this is some other no um what i want to show you there's something great here um well first what's this uh garth because the garth shit is just i keep forgetting about garth and then i go to his comments and i'm like oh my god it's never slowed down not even Wait, a little bit before we before we go yeah. the name of your special Oh, yeah. We haven't yeah. even talked about that. That's true. It's called Ball Hog. Yes. Um, Isn't that a wonderful homage to your mom's house? It is. I mean, it's obviously a tip of the cap mm -hmm. to um, to uh, everybody here. Um, of course. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a dream, man. I mean, I got to, to do this incredible show and um, have the support of uh, all you guys and netflix but yeah hi i'm peyton lafferty and i'm a ball hog <laughs> that's and, the uh, best part is that you guys know the reference yeah and all this press got canceled but i was so excited to have all these talk show hosts and everyone be like don't forget to check out ball hog <laughs> right now i just was super excited ball. about it yeah and peyton lafferty peyton lafferty and, uh, and i'm a ball hog who is this other one? Hi, I'm Sierra Sin, Sierra and Sin. I'm a ball hog. <laughs> I just love picturing that day arriving to set. What are we doing? We're doing ball hogs. Um, <laughs> say your name, say that you are one, and then just go to town on his balls. <laughs> Try to get it going, because we got lunch coming here pretty soon. Yeah, really proud. I'm very proud of it, actually, the, the special. Your special yeah. is outstanding. Yeah, Listen, very... I... Came to watch it uh, in New York when you did it in a theater there, and it was just people were dying. I was dying. I've seen it a few times. It's fantastic, Tommy. You Thanks, should be Gene. really proud of it. I'm really proud of you. Yeah. And we had to cut it down. Remember, we were trying to they, for time wise. They only want you to have it a certain time code, and we could not find bits to take out. It was just that good. Yeah. No, it was. It was it really was, hard. It was exciting to do. Here's what I love. Whoop keeps improving the experience. There's now a journal when you wake up. So you wake up, it processes your sleep, lets you know, my sleep last night was a disaster. And um, it shows you exactly how you weren't sleeping, um, tells you about all your disturbances. And now when you wake up, you have that auto journal that tells you like, oh, it's asked you questions. Do you have anything to drink? Were you doing this? Are you feeling sick? 
and then your journal keeps note of it. Were you reading in bed? Were you on a screen device? I absolutely love it. Um, there's so much you can do to try to improve your overall well-being, you know, eating right, doing this and that. But having this, these analytics, this data that shows you and keeps it all in one place, hey, this is how your strain, your exercise affected you. This is how your sleep is affecting your day. It is amazing, the insight provided by it. I love, love, love um, knowing that different things can affect my sleep in different ways. If you're looking to be smarter about how you take care of your body and health so you can be your best, you have to get a WHOOP. For our listeners, WHOOP is offering 15% off when you use the code YOURMOM at checkout. Go to WHOOP.com. That's W-H-O-O-P.com. Use the code YOURMOM, Y-O-U-R-M-O-M, at checkout to save 15% off your order. Unlock your best self today. Jeans, don't you know when you do small things, sometimes it snowballs into something of course. even bigger and more positive. Yeah. You know, maybe you you do something healthy with your diet and before you know it, you're eating like a like a, a an Olympian, a champ. That's why I love Brooklyn and Sheets, right? It starts with something small, like upgrading your sheets, and now you feel like you're sleeping in a retreat. You feel like you're in a spa, you feel like you you're in the, uh, the Four Seasons Hotel every night. And that's why I love Brooklyn. And yeah. we've been sleeping on Brooklyn and Sheets for a while now. And I tell you, it is a game changer. Uh, they, it's the first direct-to-customer bedding company. So they work directly with manufacturers and directly with the customers. There's no middlemen, which is why they can give you the amazing price and, uh, and frankly, quality of the sheets. I bought all the sheets you can imagine. I bought the expensive stuff. I bought the, you know, Egyptian whatever count and it it i promise you brooklyn is the way best. better and they also have bathroom and life essentials they got towels bath mats robes loungewear silk eye masks all everything brooklinen.com is the perfect place start making small changes that make big differences brooklinen is so confident in their product that all their sheets comforters loungewear and towels come with a lifetime warranty go on make yourself comfortable Get 10% off your first order and free shipping when you use promo code MOM only at brooklinen.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com, promo code MOM. And hey, New Yorkers, if you're listening, you can get the internet's favorite sheets and more in real life. Visit Brooklinen's first store in Brooklyn at 127 Kent Avenue in Williamsburg. Brooklinen, everything you need to live your most comfortable life. All right, look, I um, I know that you're the king, the queen. queen. Don't gender me. I'm sorry, but I got to tell you something. I think there's a new TikTok sheriff in town, and his excuse name me, is Tom. I heard you bitches was looking for me. <laughs> Wait, Wait, I, go. I Wait, never. What, dude? I sent Nadav my talks to surprise you with no traitor and look at them shaking their heads treachery they're both shaking their heads you guys why don't you say something when i started prepping these (laughs) and he was in the room and he was shaking his head he's like man christina's really going rough with this batch (laughs) like these these might supersede the level of your talk. Okay. Christine. If you close your eyes, it's almost as if Christina has curated oh this Oh my god. What did you get into dark talks? Is that where you're at now? Are you in the dark talk? Why don't we just press play? I got to see what you came up with. Okay. Why don't we press play? For your information, maybe I'm not into women either. Men, <laughs> women, children. Y'all <laughs> I don't care about any of y'all. <laughs> I date none of y'all. Got it? He's really, I mean, mm. it never stops with him. Well, it, I've noticed the progression, the evolution. It was, I'm not gay, I'm bisexual, I'm not into children. And now he's doing this thing where he fake yells, which, yeah. I'm not into, it's just weird. yell. It's weird. He lives with his parents. Of All course. Right. Great. And I'm going to guess he has a little talk to himself. Well, I just wanted to warm this up for you because oh, that is just really a, is. Well, is this just an aperitif? Or what is it <laughs> yeah, called? What's I'm, the appetizer? I just, you know, all I did, I just turned Sorbet. the engine on. That's all I did. Oh, wow. We haven't done. An amuse-bouche. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. They need to bring it back, whipping kids' ass <laughs> or what they need, bringing it back because kids don't have respect for people nowadays. 
like, uh, like bullying people and making people commit suicide. That's what the, they need a good ass whipping. That's what they need. <laughs> <sighs> Let me tell you something, Tom. You know, there is no prouder moment in the master's life when the apprentice, <sighs> the apprentice. Mm-hmm surpasses her work <laughs> you, you're proud right now this is why we're married yeah. this is why we've been together for so long and I i'm agree. so happy you finally came to the dark side of the talk force thank, thank you. you thank you that was outstanding thank you she's got much. real and i here's what i love about this talk this you is spit, why I, you spit out your drink into my cheese snacks which i didn't want to ruin what i like best is a the framing terrible yeah. B, she doesn't take care of herself. That's but, evident. But C, the message is strong. It's stupid as fuck, yeah. <laughs> it's so dumb. Bring back bullying. Yeah. It's pretty good. Someone is telling me I should not <laughs> post any more videos. I have a TikTok account. I'm not, I think I make videos every time I want to. Yeah. Or use their content and everything. And you know what? I could do what whatever I want. And everything. <laughs> Guys, you won't believe what's so stupid, right? Literally, my teacher makes us watch a video <laughs> of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Are you kidding me? That is the most weirdest shit to ever watch. What am I, a two-year-old? No, I'm a freaking teenager. Like, only babies watch that shit because it's for younger kids. I'm a freaking teenager now, so why are you making me watch this shit? Seriously, like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> well, if he knows the F word, he probably is too old to watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. That's yeah. that's true. But I think Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is at his level. And I, I am think. not done. Let's keep going. Wow, you went down a... Hey, TikTok. I apologize in advance. This is one type of exception. But excuse my language, okay? <laughs> I don't give a fuck what my dad thinks of me. I don't have to do my fucking chores. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> I didn't want to have to uh, cuss on TikTok I mean... like this, but <laughs> I'm fucking pissed. This is a one-time thing that, that I'm doing this. Oh, I'm going to have to repent after this TikTok. Because I am pissed off. My <laughs> dad and I were having a good week, and then he saw the crushed up dresser and he fucking yelled at me. Mm. No, I've got <laughs> repentance to do after this video. Wow. Listen, you got a lot of good stuff in this one. Yeah. I like his prepubescent mustache. You know what, though? You really have gone down a dark way. You've gone, dare I say, darker than the talks I've gone. <laughs> there seems to be a prevailing theme in your work. Which is? <laughs> you tell me. You're the artist. To all the people who call me a pig, <laughs> that's Miss Piggy to you, bitch. And to all the people that's bullying hmm. me, <laughs> bitch, please, I made it doom. Spinal meningitis, I can handle you. <laughs> what would you call this theme that you're working with, Tom? If we were to put this in a museum, what's the theme? It's great TikToks. Mm-hmm. Funny banter. There's no... Well, cunts. <laughs> this is my tip to being fucking awesome on TikTok. First of all, fuck you. <laughs> Second of all, get that gun out. Third of all... Make sure you get your fucking titty pierced. Third. Oh, it just kind no of just third. ends there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, cunts? First of all, Schizo, fuck you. Schizo Bong King is his name. What up, cunts? This is my tip to being fucking awesome on TikTok. <laughs> oh, my God. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, <laughs> get that gun out. Third of all, make sure you get your fucking titty pierced. Third. So, wait, you were saying that you don't see a difference between his curations and mine at this point? Because I think his are a little strong in one lane. Mine are a little diverse. Okay, I'm not done, though. Oh, I'm sorry. 
everybody, I I'm the CEO one. of TikTok. And everybody misses me on TikTok. I'm back. And I voted this morning for oh Joe Biden. Thank you and wow. have a great day. And make sure you wash your hands. Don't get the coronavirus. Okay. That was yours, Christina. That was Christina's. Yeah. That's Thank you. Mine. Well, did you know that's the CEO of TikTok? Did, did you hear what know. he said? I did not he know. He said he's the CEO of TikTok. Play it again. I saved my last two. Oh, shit. My favorite. <laughs> See, normally I'm against the Down syndrome community voting. But I think he made a good choice in this case. That's in my opinion. What? Nothing. Do you want to see the other ones? <laughs> All right, go. All right, shout out to my man for showing me this little challenge joint. So look, take both of your arms, right? Bring this one backwards. And as you're doing this, bring this one frontwards. So you got to try to do it at the same. I can't do that shit. Let me know if y'all can do it. There you go. There's a lot happening in this video. There's a lot happening. In the Everyone's video. trying. Everyone's trying, but are we really looking at the thing we should be looking at? Which yeah, is, can you do the backwards uh, and the forward at the same time? <laughs> what about Cowboy? Isn't he wearing a t-shirt? Hey, why don't you have a sip of your drink? I'll no, play the last no, one no, no, no. <laughs> oh, boy. You ready? I'm tired from this feed. Okay, this is the last one. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to explain why I have these two Let's dolls. See. I am mentally retarded. <laughs> also known as special needs. <laughs> I may not look it, but I am. And I have these two dolls because I can't have kids. <laughs> I can't get married, <laughs> nor can I have a job. Now, I know there are some special needs people out there that have jobs. I can't get one because I have anger issues. <laughs> I lose my temper really, really quick. And so if you do not like the content that I put out with these two dolls, don't like it or comment on it. It's that simple. Just keep scrolling. Okay. Let me tell you something. I found this woman about a week ago, too. Mm -hmm. And when she said, I can't have kids, I went, okay, this was funny up until that. I shouldn't share this with the audience. <laughs> so I think <laughs> I think if I'm I, mentally retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I had to define our comedic differences, that's yeah. where we differ on our curative talents. Okay. I, I went, gosh, that's sad. I shouldn't make fun of her. And you went, this one's the closer. Yeah. In my ass. What up, cunt? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love is that at first you weren't on board and now you're deeper and darker into it. You want, you want to know something that's really else? crazy? And I'm not, I'm not lying to you. My whole curation took uh, two and a half minutes. Yeah. I just went like, I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> Swiped again. That's crazy. Swiped again. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, that's called, that's once you've mastered your algorithm. My algorithm is madness. Yeah. This, these were all in a row. <laughs> I didn't have to like yeah. figure it out, filter it through That's it. when you're doing the Lord's work. Because <laughs> people ask me, how long does it take you? I'm like, not long. Once you've gotten that algorithm tight. <laughs> First of all. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> First of all. First fuck of all. Yeah. Fuck you. Uh, <sighs> yeah. I think I am. I am going to start. Um, I'm going to follow your lead, and I'm going to start looking at these talks pre-show. Yeah. Get, my, get myself in a funny yeah, mood. Yeah, 100%. Nadav noted to me, he goes, I noticed that you, I get these in at a certain time, and it's usually when you're getting ready to go yeah. on stage. I have to do what, whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> and it puts me in the right headspace. Yeah. Yeah. I look at it in the morning, first thing while I'm taking a dump. I love it. It just puts me in a it's good fantastic. mood. What up, cunt? <laughs> Why well, have these dolls? Because I am mentally retarded. That's my favorite. Like I can't, you know, you know what she does on her feed though. I have anger issues, and no, secondly, I get anger. She started to say issues, and she forgot the word. I get anger quickly. Yeah. Now, here's the thing: her feed 
because I, I took you a You use the R word. I went on deep dive with her. She only does shout outs. So she'll be like, show so-and-so some love. So she doesn't actually create enough content. Oh, well, this was this is enough to keep me satisfied for a <laughs> while. This this vo this video mm. is amazing. I am mentally retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that deep laugh he has. When he gets dastardly dog laugh. Yeah. That's when you know he's really happy. Oh, You're man. so pleased with yourself right now. <laughs> I'm not retarded. <laughs> retarded, retarded. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, very retarded. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, play my favorite lady again, the first one you did. The one that made me spit my drew, my water. Oh. Which one is she though? I She's the one that threatens you. I'm gonna threaten you. Oh, the bully. The quarter lady. <laughs> they need to bring her back whipping kids' ass or what they need bring her back because kids don't have respect for people nowadays. <laughs> like, uh, like bowling people and making people commit suicide. That's <laughs> what they need a good ass whipping. That's what they need. <laughs> This chick's smart. Yeah. She's got it figured out. That's pretty good. <sighs> oh, the world is a wonderful place. Now, did you hear that TikTok is going to start banning these people? Like, they're going to cleanse the uh, the demos here. They're going to start taking out the mentally challenged and the unattractives. <laughs> there goes my business. But I have been a champion of the marginalized for a very long time. That's what, what I do. <laughs> also, which one of these dolls should I do a video with? Superman yeah, or Batman? Superman or Batman. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay. Oh, um, oh before oh. we go, oh lastly, just a quick mention that um, since the special just came out, we have a uh, new merch associated with the special few shirts if you want to check it out they're all at merchmethod.com slash tom segura as are the new uh run nre shirts for that <laughs> if you're for my poly people uh you want to <laughs> let the world know that we are not ashamed of that new relationship energy um that shirt is for us it's for our community and then there's also the, the uh saka souffle stuff is out there saka souffle uh there's a t-shirt and a hoodie um, anyways, very exciting stuff. All at merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura. N R E. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything better than that N R E, Tom? No. The N R E feels so good. Nothing makes me happier when you And then when you when I see well. you're going through it is when I get the happiest. That's when I'm the most happy. Oh my god. <laughs> so ridiculous. First of all, fuck you. <laughs> First of all, fuck you. Oh. Uh, okay. Now, how will this be affecting Piss Spots guy? I hope that he has not self quarantined uh, that I, much. I'm gonna guess he's not really into some of the suggestions. <laughs> God, I'm so looking forward to a new episode. Yeah, we need. Well, there's that. They're out there. We. That's the thing is that as you're if you're sitting at home quarantined and you're like, <laughs> man, I wish there was more Piss Spots. <laughs> um, I think there are. So go ahead and uh, get ready to binge all week. <laughs> On piss spots. <laughs> um, coming up, our guest today. We're very excited to have him. Um, he is absolutely hilarious. We've been wanting to have him on for a while, and it finally came together. Um, Tim Dillon, uh, check him out. His his social media is insanely funny, as is his stand up. And the dude is just he's a natural um, at conversing. And um, oh yeah, we should probably just like he's just. A great guy on mic. You should definitely, you'll enjoy the episode. Um, we should mention, for all those of you who have tickets to see either one of us, our whole business is kind of uh, reeling from the, um, you know, the effects of, uh, uh, of this pandemic. So right now, things are being, they were moved initially from March to April, April to May. Just follow us on Twitter or Instagram, and we'll keep posting updates as we get them. Um, I was just told today that, you know, I had I had moved my um, my shows from last week 
to April. And obviously that doesn't make sense anymore. So now they're looking to move those Ice House shows into June. um, And they're moving a bunch of other shows into June and July and August. That's, that's, you know, because everything we're learning from kind of moment to moment. So instead of like trying to uh, give you the the date of the moment right now, I'll just tell you um, that follow us on social media or right. look there. You're, it, it will all be rescheduled. It's just a scramble right now yeah. for them to find dates and availability. People and ask me about the um, the May, the only the one that was kind of up in the air is the May Vegas shows. And as of now, they're considered on because the the Vegas casinos plan on opening mid-May. So, I mean, this is, I'm telling you the latest update as of, that I know as of the recording of this. So that might, that might change. Yeah, this is a- uh, Vegas, baby. As of St. Patty's Day, that's the announcement they made. It could change again. So just follow us there. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to us. Um, enjoy this episode with Tim Dillon. Hope you guys are all well, and we'll see you next week. Bye, jeans. Keep them high and tight and safe. Hey guys, please go to merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura and check out my new ball hog merch. Imagine how many psychopathic doctors are like, you know what the greatest thrill is? Yeah. Telling people they're going to die. Yeah. And they just, mm-hmm. they keep it inside though. There's they, gotta be people that get off. Have I, to. Uh, Cause I, I know that I, like my aunt loves bad news. Yeah. She just loves it. Like when yeah. some, you know, <laughs> like we just grew, like she would have a story at Christmas always about a kid who ate a rock at a playground and died. She loved uh, it. She was, her, her face would light up cause she got to deliver you bad news. That is a thing. Yes. Oh yeah. You know, we have a little bridge in our town. We grew up and we jump off into the water and my aunt would like always have a story. She goes, you know, one guy did that. Now he's paralyzed. Yeah. So she, so there's gotta be people like her that just, whether they know it or not, yep. they're so excited to be like, it's stage three, mm-hmm. but it's looking like stage four. <laughs> It's a stage three that feels like a four. You're totally right. Yeah. Totally. Because there is a perverse excitement in, I mean, even for, for like whatever, there's, there's a, the angels that walk around that don't like delivering, but yeah. I think most people, you kind of get to go like, hey, do you hear about, you know, uh, Ronnie uh, got fired? And and you're, yeah. and you're telling people. Do you mean by it. some people? You mean this person right no, here? I mean, a little bit. <laughs> but gossip, I mean, but that's gossip. It's gossip. It's, I yeah, like it's gossip. a version of yeah. gossip. Um, but it's also it means things are happening. Yeah. It does. Things are happening. Gossip <laughs> is a thrill. I mean, yeah, it's a thrill. Things are happening. I've always wanted to be in a relationship with somebody that was dying, like yeah. a great summer relationship. Yes, with someone who was dying. Yes, and then and you learn so much about life, and then yeah. September you focus on your career. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> you go through like a whole Dude, cycle yes. with it. Just a beautiful. I gotta tell you something. Hand. Yeah, I might actually be into having an affair with a dying woman. Hello. You know what I mean? No, no. I'm coming <laughs> back. I'm coming yeah. back home. Thanks. But I'm saying just for a little while. I just, you know, there's it's a fling. It's she's about to die but they're not going to be as hot as when they're totally healthy well i'm going to start it like at the beginning of the end so like she's kind of holding it together there's something beautiful about the idea of making a connection with someone and then having them taken from you yeah by a force that's not you know you it's poetic it is poetic. truly beautiful yeah yeah truly you guys are really sick well i mean it's just there's something nice about that's why all these movies yeah i hate those movies i cannot wait if if the premise is and she has cancer or and their time i'm my favorite i'm out i'm gone (laughs) as soon as there's as soon as meryl (laughs) streep is eating soup i'm in i'm in Uh, with the the head per chief oh i just want to see people die and then i'm like Uh, because life life does matter Dude, yeah, I I should write more. I I, yeah. I gotta say, I really think he's on to like. There has got to be so it's not a handful. So many doctors who they'll never say it, they keep it inside, but they love getting the blood work back, and they're like, in oh okay, and then they go in like, oh Tim, everything all right? <laughs> got to tell you some real bad news. Well, doesn't it make you feel alive? I'm sure yeah. it makes you feel alive. I bet they feel so alive to tell I you because so. they're holding your death warrant in their hands yeah. as they're you know with you know sipping a smoothie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they get to sit down. Which would and be the get, fucking worst way to receive that. It'd news. be the if worst. Stop yeah. to <laughs> sip their smoothie, <laughs> and then they're like, hold on a second. But it's Stage also four. like they. You know, they don't have that personal attachment to it because it's their career, yeah. it's their job. They yeah. have to be detached. 
So they're just like, hey. You're dying. Yeah. Can I tell you what my new joy is? Yeah. Is saying no to people because I recently just, after we, we have toddlers. And so you say no all day long. Yeah. And I think I've really acquired an enjoyment now of like, no, I don't really want to do that. Or no. It takes work. You have it to work takes to work and practice. Most people aren't naturally like just born with the skill of saying no to things they don't want to do. I think it takes yeah. years to master. Yeah. I came from a mother who would just start with no. <laughs> like she would start negatively and be like, here's what I won't do. Like I swear to God, she'd go to a restaurant <laughs> and go, I'll tell you what I won't have. Uh, she's that, she was just that type of negative, yeah. bitter, resentful uh, creature love put on earth to make everyone's yeah. life horrible. And to miserable? make you funny. She, well, she's, she's, she's a schizophrenic now, so she's oh, kind of not yeah. as miserable as she should be. Uh, because her brain is evolved into mm-hmm. like, you know, but she, I, I grew up under her. So like, I'm like, oh, you just say no. You just complain. Yeah. Like I always complain. Yeah. Like when it, not, not, not in like a, a, a mean way, but if something's wrong, I'm like, hey, no good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No good. This are you good though good at, at, are you good at, um, you know, like you just moved to LA a little while yeah. ago. So, you know, there's a lot of people that are like, oh, hey man, well you want, you want to do my show and let's say a show you don't want to do are you a, are you comfortable with like nope like oh uh, yeah i go oh i'm not gonna do that oh you just tell him <laughs> yeah that's in a dog park in echo park i'm so, not gonna do that and you're good at that i will do that yeah okay you know i mean i, I yeah i will do i will let a i will to a fault yeah be honest like that and tell people that you won't do their podcast to a fall. yeah like, well you know. no see w- like sometimes like dr drew uh-huh. i lied and i said that because i totally forgot oh, I, I was think supposed I to do this. dr drew I totally forgot. And then you wait. And this, I wanted to do Dr. Drew. I totally forgot. Right. So I'm in the Trump uh, Palos Verdes golf thing because I went to the beach with friends and then we're in this dumb Trump thing. Mm-hmm. And I get a message like and it's it's the your guy Nadav going like, hey, are you finding parking? OK. And I was like on the toilet in the Trump hotel. And I was oh. like, oh, no. What would Trump do? Think like Trump. <laughs> <laughs> think like Trump. So I wrote back, hey man, I think I was like, my mother is dying or something. I was like, hey, my mom's really sick and I had to go back to Long Island, you know? <laughs> Which anyone who knows me, even if she was, I would not have gone. Yeah. So <laughs> I, would have, like, I would have done Dr. Drew. My mother has no followers, nothing. <laughs> and I, I had no social media. So I, I sent it to him and then I realized I like five minutes earlier and then I sent it and I'm like, I'm going to be okay. And then I realized five minutes earlier, there's a photo of me on the beach. Oh, shit. In, in like, uh, uh, Redondo Beach or wherever. Oh, yes. And so then I was like, oh, I'm probably, I'm banned from your mom's yes, house. I remember. Now, and like, then you said, yeah. though, because you said, like, once you you put the lie out once there. Once you put it out then there. Then you got to just lay, you got to be deep in the you lie. You got to yeah. go deep in the lie. You yeah. got to try. And I lie because I care. This yeah. is what people don't realize. Right. If I didn't care, I would say, hey, dude, I forgot. Who cares? Right. I lied because I cared and I respect like Drew's a real deal dude and like I should have done the show. So me using my mother, it's like, hello, like I'm using my mother's health as a way to justify not being at this thing. Yeah, it's brilliant. You know what I mean? Will you do Drew now? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know if he'll have me back. I don't know. He's he probably will. not happy. I think he will. about this. Oh, he will. But this he needs to understand. We're comedians, that, we're all shitbags, and it's, I'm a liar. I mean, I don't yeah. want to put that on being a comedian, but, but like, you yeah, know, I'm a comedian. I can't tell the truth. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So I mean, sometimes I do lie. Uh, Drew thought you were a drug addict. <laughs> yeah, he thought I was like on drugs or something. But, but that's his world. So but, for him, he's like, oh, there's lying. There's yeah, drug addict. Yeah. I'm probably being a drug addict. That's yeah. what I should have said. I should have oh, said way, I had a massive relapse. We almost always introduce our guests at the top but we oh, were yeah, so I'm deep sorry. no no we're I'm so deep yeah. and into uh this yeah. conversation naturally yeah, but I, the great tim Dillon is yeah, here thank you very much uh, yeah. recently moved here from new how long ago you moved from new york i'm about a year in you're a year I'm in a already you're in la already but i was coming out here a lot before i officially moved Damn. to lay the groundwork to lay the lies <laughs> to lay the groundwork <laughs> how of are lies these lies going and deceit do you love it here i love it here i'm like is i'm that so a lie? happy Go no ahead. it's not i'm 35 i grew up in new york i'm done with it i'm pumped yeah pumped to be in la how great is the weather bro it's, the weather's great the you weather know? is underrated people are attractive like, i like the people you know every new york's like yeah everybody in la they're not real i'm like good yeah, yeah what about yeah. <laughs> stop burdening me with your problem how yeah about, good what does about, real mean miserable yeah be fake yeah what about sex appeal new york you get to see people walking around. You always see good-looking people. Yes, that's right? true. And and it's also accessible because you're passing by them, right? Constantly yes. walking. You're, bon- you're on the subway together. You're walking into buildings together. Here, you got you know it happens at times, but you got to get in your car or your, some type of transportation. Yeah. Do you find that it's an uh, is it an attractive people city to you um, or no? I, you know the gross people in LA find me. <laughs> 
you know, so the grotesque people that are here <laughs> will kind of find me, uh, which I appreciate. Yeah. You know, the people that hang out Feels in donut nice. shops at yeah. 2 a.m., sure. you know. People that live on the margins of society. They'll find you. Yeah, they'll get me. You know, yeah. the rooftop pool people and me haven't yet, yeah. you know. Uh -huh. Sure. Uh, but yeah, it's attractive. You see very attractive people here. You see very attractive people in New York. Too, yeah, you do. You know, models. Yeah. You guys have more models. I think we have right? more. Like we have more attractive men. You have more attractive women. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because interesting. New York dudes are finance guys. They're in yeah. suits. They're more attractive. L.A. men are dirt bags. Yeah, yeah. they sell CBD. They're disgusting. What are you? What's true. what? Is, what's yeah. appealing to you more? The New York guys are actual dudes. Like do, they're actual. But do you you like the guys in the suits? Well, yeah, I mean, you're in a suit. It means you have a like. Oh, you have a job. You're oh, like a. So it's the whole appeal. Yeah, it's the whole oh, appeal yeah. of like somebody who's not. Yeah, because it's but, weird. Like a guy yeah. can walk in in flip flops and a torn shirt, and they're he's like, "Oh, you know, he's a fucking yeah. billionaire." Yeah. Because yeah. in L. A., it's way lame to wear a suit. I know. Because you're like, what Only are you a agents. fucking nerd? Agents. Yeah, yeah, it's true. You're considered a dork. So, but if you go down to like the beach areas, you get the really good looking people. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like in Hollywood, you're kind of getting. Oh, Hollywood's you know, dirty though. Yeah, uh, I mean, scumbags. West Hollywood, even yeah. you're getting, you know. Well, West Hollywood, West Hollywood is primo gay dudes. I it's mean, aging gay guys. That, yeah. That, and and then you have like Santa Monica, like the pier, uh, where oh, it's like the scumbags. Muscle Beach, where it's like those guys have yeah. uh, are they're in such good shape they've like cured themselves of AIDS. <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> those guys all had AIDS in the eighties, and then yeah. somehow just <laughs> lifted it. it. They just lifted beat it it out. AIDS by lifting. Because <laughs> you look at them, you look at their faces, you're yeah. like, oh, you had AIDS yeah. at one point, but now they're you fine. see the gaunt cheeks. Oh and everything. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah, like, really. oh, you were done, yeah. but they just got buff. <laughs> they had lesions, <laughs> but they just fought it out. So I appreciate yeah. it. It's an amazing look sometimes when yeah. you see the AIDS face. Oh, yeah. And you see the chest and everything here. Oh, that's all it is. All, all but that. But the toothpick legs. Dude, all Venice Beach is is yeah. buff body AIDS face. Yeah. <laughs> true. That's what it is. It's true. Now, West Hollywood used to be a mecca. A mecca. Yeah. It was like the, the one of the destinations of the world to go to if you were trying to get down with dudes. I think it still is. Is I'm it sure. still as yeah, a primo I'm sure, spot? I'm sure West Hollywood still. Is the Abbey still the hot I guess so. I'm not hang. a bar. I don't go to bars. You don't go to bars? I don't drink. What? So oh, I that really makes go sense. To bar. Yeah, well, so then how really... do you meet dudes? Where are the dudes um, at? Just on the internet. Oh, right. There's yeah. like, like grinder. The yeah. Best, the dude. internet is kind of easy. You don't really have to go out to a bar and, so you know. Great. And also West Hollywood's like the type of gay like where it's like I'm I'm gay. West Hollywood's insane gay. Like, it's like really? a level. It's too much. Well, it's just there's people riding like horses. It's like that scene in The Wizard of Oz where they're riding like the multicolored, like that's a yeah. horse of a different color. It's like there's dudes riding purple horses down the street. It's like, I don't know what this is. L.A. gay is like trans. They're like, a, right. it's like in the next level. Yeah. And L.A. trans is like the next whatever that is. Like right. they're disabled. They're like kneecapping themselves. <laughs> it's always the next thing here. Like so it's just true. it really is. It's a lot. You I know? bet because you 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 said you lie out of respect. You lie out yes. of. I bet your online game is tight, dude. Well, like, it's lies. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. It's How good, good are your dating lies? I make I make everything up. <laughs> <laughs> I, ma I make everything up. So give me walk me through. Most like, people on the sites think I'm Amy Schumer. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's my no. I mean I just I I think it's hard to make stuff up now because people cut you. Know, I'm, I'm somewhat public. People can kind of look me up. Yeah, but. But, you know, these people don't know, you know, they think I'm doing great. I'm doing really good, but like they don't know. So wait, are you on like Raya or are you on? I am, but that one sucks. Why does, does it? Suck? I heard it's fun. I heard it just, uh, Tommy I mean, Lee met Brittany Furlon on Raya. Maybe well, for gay dudes. I don't know. It's, it's just not that great. It's people. It's supposed to be like the celebrity app. But are you yeah, always. Not. Okay. Do you go between being like, I want to meet someone yeah. to date or are you always, are you basically. No, like, I'm, I'm, just, I'm always just like, whatever, just to, to meet somebody, maybe hang out with. It's cool. Yeah. Okay. But you know, sometimes if you meet somebody to date, that's cool too. But I'm not, I don't, you're not looking for it. Not at this moment. Okay. I got you. I got you. You know, and it's your full of lies on there. Well, I'm I'm <laughs> embellishments, yeah, distortion, you know, yeah. like it, what, like, like what? Well, just just the idea of like, you know, I'll tell people I've been to countries I haven't been to. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'll start talking about Japan. I've never been to Japan. <laughs> like I'll talk. I'll be That's I'll be hilarious. like the best sushi is no offense is in Japan. <laughs> And the guy's like, what do you mean? I'm like, no offense, but I date like younger guys in their 20s or whatever. And they're like, they don't know anything. And so I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, that sushi is good, but it's probably better in Osaka. When I, don't I was know. in Osaka, I, like, yeah. I had this. I just, but yeah. I like he's like, this, no offense. This uh, tutoro yeah. that was <laughs> yeah. too guy yeah. for. I tell them no offense because I'm like, you're probably not living that kind of life. <laughs> That's okay. But the best sushi is in Japan. <laughs> 
<laughs> and you know things like that. So and I'll they're just, like, I would love to travel. with Yeah, you I guys. make up geography. Yeah. Like I just make up things that I, you know. I love it. I respect it so. Yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> nothing crazy. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you should. That, yeah. I I you love gotta, that you got to lie. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, for you sure. You do. I mean the 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 country is run by liars. The most successful people in America are liars. Yeah. Um everyone you see on a billboard is probably a liar. I mean I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. yeah. What is okay, cuz I feel like you always have you're well informed, you're well read, you know what's going on. I mean we're we're way ahead of here, but what do you think is going to end up happening uh, election wise? Well, so there's two things that can happen. Number 1, I think Trump Right up until this virus, I'm like, Trump wins handily. Mm -hmm. He's just going to win, right? Mm -hmm. Right. He's just going to win. Um, you know, impeachment didn't work. Nothing worked, right? Just, these guys are throwing stuff at him. Nothing works. Um, had they not done all of this and just kind of let him, like, I think a guy like him, you can't put him in a corner because he's great fighting. Right. Like, that's what he's he great. He's a fight. brawler. He's yeah. great at it. He loves. So it's like, you know, put him in a roast battle. He's going to win. Right. Put him on stage for an hour. Could get dicey. Right. Could get dicey. So that's the way you look at his presidency. Um, all they've done is put him in the corner and, and you oh, know. All right. Yeah. And, and so he just comes out fighting and his people, you know, it galvanizes his support. Right. Uh, like, you know, people started to notice like a year ago. They're like, wait a minute. There's no wall. Mm. There's like nothing. Like right. <laughs> nothing he said was going to happen, happen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Wall Street's not really reined in. Like, the, you know, we're, we're, you know, so so that was. But now that you see you have this crisis, this this pandemic, if this is brutal and traumatic is he still funny like if we have three to six months of right. a lot of pain right is calling elizabeth warren pocahontas still funny or are people like dude we're over that right yeah. do you get New over material. that so this actually could yeah. be something mm. that that really truly does get out of his hands and he has to oh, just yeah. deal with and then you just look at it you're looking at a guy like that and you're like do you just want a president again yeah. Right. Instead of this big entertainer, like if right. something like this really happens and really hits hard, yeah. I mean Joe Biden is has dementia. Yeah, um, he's somewhat senile. It seems like you know things have gone south. It's not good. Sanders makes some good points, but again, he's in his eighty. Like yeah. So, but I do think if this thing is really traumatic, I think people are going to look at Trump and it's like, yeah, dude, it's not as funny anymore because you know what? You start seeing people you know die. Right. It doesn't really matter that Hillary's a crook. Right. You don't care anymore. You're like, we just need a, an adult to get us out of this. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think, that, I think that's actually a really good take because, yeah, if, if things get real serious, like the way that they would in a, in a true pandemic, yeah. uh, like exploding, then, yeah. then just everyone's sensibility just changes. Absolutely. Well, you're you in know? panic mode and you want an adult, like you said, a grown up to yeah. take I mean, us I out saw, of this I saw shit. SARS when I was in... Uh, Japan volunteering with the Peace Corps. <laughs> I was the kind of the first dude. I was one of the first people on the ground there, and just seeing that has really just shaped the way that I think. <laughs> <laughs> Omg, you've done so much with your life. <laughs> well, no, yeah. the best one is when they go. You sound like you have a really wild life, and I'm like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, of course. You gotta play it cool. When yeah, someone's yeah, of like, course. Oh, someone's right. like, you're That's doing great. all this crazy stuff. I'm like, whatever, man. Yeah. I'm sure your life is crazy too. You do cool stuff too, right? Where do you go? University of Kansas. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is Dude, what it is. College. They're like, my my dad's a Christian minister. I'm like, I hate gays. This is great. <laughs> We're in. So it's a real, you know. How is that? How I are love those that. college guys? Well, you know, they they need to be lied to. Yeah, for sure. No, I mean it's just. Oh my God! If I was, if I was, there's a lot of gay dudes that don't want to come out now because the gay, the gay thing's gotten too crazy. Really? It's just too much now because it's like it used to be like, oh, you're just gay. Now it's like men and women don't exist. You know, yeah, like right. everything. <laughs> like, and you're like, wait, no, I don't. Hold on, it's like you know Do you that toddler should transition. You're like, that maybe not. I that toddler should um, know. Which gender it identifies with immediately. Yeah. yeah. And, and then. So, like, there's people that I talk to that are like, I don't want to be a political. Like, I don't want to just my whole life to be politics and yeah. craziness. I understand that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I never really considered it that now it used to be like, oh my God, coming out would be this, uh, you know, am I going to be shunned or shamed? Yeah. Or, and then now you're like, oh, this world has become just bananas. It's just bananas. And there's a lot of guys that want to, like, there's a lot of guys that want to come out of the closet and like still be a racist, you know, yeah. like and still, you know, and I, I, I get it. You know, they're like, yeah, I don't yeah. want to be intersectional. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, I hate Koreans and yeah. I just want to be openly gay and hate Koreans. So it's like, and it's tough to why do is, now. Why yeah. is that a problem? Right. You know? Yeah. Right. So that's who I'm for. Right. You know, 
<laughs> I'm for the anti-intersectional. Everybody has their own interests. Fight it out. Dude, wait. Let's go back to uh, when I was in the Peace Corps. Lo- okay. in, your, in Japan. Um, Long Island. Yeah. Your mom was a real difficult type. She's a, she was a difficult woman. Yeah. Uh, and I've watched her reduce people in the drive through at Wendy's to tears. Sure. Wait a yeah, minute. Because, Is your mom my mom? Uh, yeah. She's a vicious <laughs> woman. Is she, she a col- borderline? Uh I don't know what she is. I mean, she was diagnosed with schizophrenia late in life, which sure. means there was a lot of things percolating yep. yes. during the journey. Yes. yes. And she collected McDonald's toys, Hess trucks, mm-hmm. you know, put them in plastic bags, what, you know, itemize them. When you <laughs> see, when you look back on yeah. like uh, erratic behavior, yes. when you see somebody become mm. schizophrenic, you go, okay, this all adds up. Before that, when it doesn't enter your mind, do you go, do you have an explanation to yourself? Are you like, you know, my mom is just like this. Or like. Um, well, we were Irish Catholic, so we didn't really talk about anything. Okay, so the, the prevailing wisdom was that, like, people would be like, hey, pa- Patty is fun. Yeah. Fun. Patty's fun. Yeah. You know, she'd be like, hey, guys, my, 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 uh, my father uh, actually disappeared, my real father, and the FBI was looking for him, so he disappeared, and the guy who raised me is not my father. And she would say this, like, in front of her actual dad. And everybody would just laugh it off and be like, Patty is a hoot. Wacky. She is yeah. wacky and fun. She would say that? Yeah, she would say that. Everybody would be like, she is fun. And she comes yeah. up with some fun stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, this is a neurological disorder. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it was like, so growing up with that, you were like, oh, something's not right. Yeah. Something's wrong. Right. I, I have people yeah. in my family who I'll, will remain nameless for the moment. <laughs> sure. Who um, growing up, they were always like, uh, you know how she is. You know how she can get. Well, that's what it is. And she yeah, can get upset. You know upset. how she is. That's how, you know. It's pretty irrational, though. Um, we're not going to yeah, try yeah. to investigate this. Flavors. Yeah. They're just eccentric. Yeah, they're like, eccentric. No, they're but, fun. But doesn't that wreak havoc on your they're the life and somebody goes the life to, of the party? Yeah, the life of the party. I think so she told some mom. big story once about how Elvis might have been her father. And everyone mm-hmm. was like, she's the life of the party. I'm yeah. like. No, her brain stem is like not working. Yeah, you know. Yeah. That's, but you knew that though. I knew it. Yeah, I knew mm. it because I was like p- just perceptive. And siblings know it too, or none? No, no siblings. You have no it's siblings. Just me. Yeah. Oh shit. It was just me. And where is your dad? Um, he's in Wuhan right now. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, no, my father is with his new wife mm. uh, in Long Island. They cool. don't. Leave. They don't leave. They love. My dad loves a golf course. Mm. He loves a glass of wine. Yeah, there's no reason to leave. And was he part of your childhood or he peaced Yeah, out? he was there. Yeah. He was there in the way that a lot of boomers were there, which is... Not really. You know, yeah. glass yeah. of wine. You know, yeah. it was not the most committed group of people right. to raising their kids. Yeah. I yeah. mean, they just fed us, you know, poison. Yeah. Here's some Wendy's. Good luck. Try not to get molested. Yeah. It was not the most involved. Why, why do you think that it was collectively like that? It was a steeply selfish yeah. group of people that came off... Uh, this tr- very traumatic event, like the Vietnam War, yep. things like that, a lot of crazy. And then the people that were, and it was a lot of people that were hippies. My parents were hippies and then kind of went 100% the other way. So there was that hippie aesthetic of like being deeply selfish was ingrained in them. Mm-hmm. Like it's about me and my journey and this and everything. Mm. And But when you were hippie, that pointed outwards into like making the world better or even like the appearance, the optics of doing so. And then once you just embraced it, like, hey, well, this is, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> then you still had that deeply selfish need for everything to be about you. Right. But now it was just about like, you know, materialism. Yeah. And just having more than other people. And like, that's kind of what defined that generation is like rampant materialism and convenience. Everything was easy, yeah. fast food, you know, mm-hmm. getting, getting, uh, you know, putting your kids in a million activities so you could then do what you want, you know. And there were economic realities, of course, that coincided with this too, but it was like, it was a generation of people that was all about comfort and convenience. Hmm. Wow. Well, plus their yeah. parents weren't very emotionally available either. Right. So then, yeah, the they whole... were the first, like the boomers were the first generation of kids that were told, like, follow their dreams. Like, well, my generation was told that. And it was the worst advice. Uh, like, it was just yeah, like, yeah, you're unique and special. Follow your dreams. And people were like, I don't have dreams. Like, but follow them. Yeah. And they took out all these loans and they're screwed now. Wait, but that's so true because yeah. there are some people that just don't have dreams. Yeah, and all like, of them. Yeah. Like, what about, <laughs> but what about that person that's like, I kind of don't give a shit. Like, I wouldn't mind just well, doing a job. And yeah. Then, a lot. But we're like, no, but you've got something important to say inside yeah, of you no the you guys don't. like Gary Vaynerchuk all these like motivational guys like no there's a business inside of you <laughs> like no and it's like not, no there's not no, not there's everyone not really. there is not a business inside of my friend Ryan right, you know? right, right. <laughs> there is not you know that's so it, true it's this hyper individualism I think that there's this yeah. thing too that we try to celebrate like 
try to tell everyone to be a leader as yes. if yeah. everyone is a leader. Yes. And then what the speech should be like, hey, most of you are followers. Yeah, most get, a, of you, get a job. Most of you should find somebody. Just and get a job. And really, it's okay to have a job. Yeah. It's okay to of just course. like, hey, I want to have a nine to five. Come home it's, and watch it's Friends. It's drink. telling people that problem? it's not okay to be like that. To just live. It's like yeah. telling people like it's not okay yeah. to go to a place and then come home yeah. and the watch your show. The happiest people I know yeah. are gym teachers yeah. Yeah. Uh, from Long Island who go on like two vacations a year, who yep. love their children. Time with no the family. I- they have no idea what the Me Too movement is. <laughs> <laughs> they have no well, idea. Let's celebrate those folks <laughs> I mean, the most. I they know, just, they're not, so plug- they're not plugged in. Fine, yeah. And great. It's, there's nothing wrong. Yeah, I mean, they're just not plugged in. Well, God, both I miss sides those days are. when you could just, you know, yeah. see a girl with a nice ass and just be like. Get, oh, right, nice and just ass, rape you know? the shit out of her. Like, <laughs> hey, get over here. No? Wait a minute. I was going to go for a oh. comment. Or use what, your power. What decade was that? Yeah. How far are we going back? I mean, this is, we're going what? back hundreds of years. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about the 1400s? Yeah, or? The, uh, middle, the Har- Middle Ages? Harvey Weinstein? Uh, no, no, no. He raped? He just I know, but I said, trees. you know when you saw a girl with a nice ass, I was going to kind of, yeah. just kind of be like, make a comment. Oh, you know, sure, 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 sure. A nice little peach sure. on the backside. Right, no, I got you, sorry. You, you, went, yeah. you said, and you could rape the shit what out of her. What kind of porn would you do? Go back to your brokest year <laughs> and stand up. This is something uh, we're working in right now. What kind of porn <laughs> would I do? Uh, uh, one that the audience would complain about. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you that. There'd be some real negative Yelp reviews on my video. So we're talking about, you go, you go to your worst financial year in the last yeah, decade. Sure. And, I, and you're like, you're struggling to pay rent, at least yeah. in this scenario. Okay. Yeah. And then we go, guess what? You got six months rent right here. Would you do a sex act on film for that? Um, great question. Um, here's why I would say no, not morally, mm-hmm. but because I would be afraid that it would catch up with me when I wanted to do something else. Like okay. if I was not, a, if I was a dude that never wanted to be a public person or yeah. never wanted to, you know, put out stuff, like then I, I don't think I would care. But tell them about the masks. Oh, oh yeah, oh. you can wear a mask. Oh yeah, okay. Right? Yeah, then it I'm kind in. of you can wear a mask everything. and a bodysuit. Yes. Well, yes. And they just cut the How whole great out. would that be if I showed up to do porn and they're like, we have a mask and a bodysuit? And I was offended. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm, hold on. <laughs> I want to show I what a, I got. I need a bodysuit. <laughs> <laughs> I need a mask. Uh, yeah, I would, I would do that. And you're saying what kind of porn? Yeah. yeah. S&M, I'm, ball kicking. I mean, it would be whatever, whatever to pay the money. Yeah. I mean, yeah. at that point, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to be, you know, a prude. <laughs> right. It's like, that's, put the money on the table. Dude, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. the mask is on. I'm doing the interracial gangbang with the basketball team. Because yeah. at this point. 100%. You're I mean, in it. She's really <laughs> leaning into this one yeah, a lot. That's man. A real. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say an interracial gangbang with the basketball team. Um, but that? Right, well. Yeah, it's a lot. Well, that's a lot of people. Pussies. I mean, that's Josh is willing to. He's willing to have a. He said if we, he could do a sex scene. With a woman, and he gets to pick the woman. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. And then we worked out that at the end, 10 guys yeah. come in the room and come on his shoulders. <laughs> yeah, I mean, jo- yeah, I could see Josh going for that. <laughs> you could? Yeah, I've met Josh. So I think that Josh would be fine. <laughs> yeah, Josh would be fine. And after that, by the way, Josh would look at the director and be like, are we good? Is this good? <laughs> this is the director like, right he here. Wouldn't even be, he wouldn't even be that angry. He'd be like, this is good, or should we... Do we, it again? Is this okay? Is it yeah. stuck in my hair? Have yeah. you ever seen? Have you ever been a part of a bukkake or seen no. ten guys jizzing? I've never. I've seen it. I mean, people have sent me photos, of ta- like tapes. Like no, joke. I mean, like you've been like at a club, like in San Francisco in yeah. the nineties when I lived there. It was like gay dudes ruled the roost. And like, they would just jerk off on in the bro- street. Dude, literally. I keep guys, hearing those stories. I, so I, I want to see that. Fucking I, there yeah. there were clubs I would go to with my gay man friends. And there would yeah. just be a dude sitting in a chair with his peener out. And like other guys would just come up to it. Fuck it. Sit on it. Suck it. Yeah. It was. <sighs> And it was chaos, like but, but fucking in the streets. It was great. I kind of missed that era. I came up later than that. I'm sure that that still goes on, but I just don't. Not yeah. domestically, it doesn't. Yeah, I just, I, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Go overseas. Not domest- Where? I'm sure Tom? in West Hollywood. Austria. Yeah. <laughs> Got to go to Germany. Where the good stuff is in Frankfurt. Frank- or Japan. You've been I'm sure there. in West You've Hollywood, Japan. stuff goes on. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's by the way, stuff that goes there's got to be the secret code Still, for at least an awesome West Hollywood club, where I they're mean, like, bring yeah. fucking lube because it gets down. I was just, <laughs> I went to get a taco with two people the other night. It was Saturday, it was Hollywood, and I forgot that it was Saturday, it was Hollywood, and it was just so intense, and there was just people beating the shit out of each other. Like, really? Yeah. Oh yeah. 
gay dude fights, there's like oh, really? talking to the bouncers. There's nothing there's but like, testosterone. There's like ten a night. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, right. Like, bitch, why did you say bitch? Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, they're not fighting about economics. No. It's pretty it's pretty base. Yeah. yeah. It's bitch a lot of bitch. I feel like the yeah. the yeah. game is so it's so um vicious. Yeah. In terms of like, you know, there's so much value on like like when you see an aging formerly yoked dude yeah you know what i mean and then they're like you become an undesirable yeah i feel well, like it's vicious it's, it's vicious but it's also like you look women over a certain age in hollywood it's nasty that's true oh, too it's nasty but that's why i love gay men because yeah. i feel like our you currency... mean over 29 oh, yeah 30s. no and, and you'll see them and you'll be like i you were the shit yeah yeah i look at a woman and she'll be like you know parking her little old mercedes in front of one of those houses in laurel canyon you know yeah. one of those modern houses that were like the shit when melrose place was on the air yeah and i'm like oh you were the shit and now no one's bought you a drink in a decade yeah, yeah. and you just take 10 pills to get out of bed every morning dude Aww. you're totally yeah. right but yeah. that's when you put all your, e your all your eggs in that looks basket that's when it that's life true. yeah tough. but it's also like move to florida yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, you've had your moment like yeah. enough Get true. the fuck out of Sunset Boulevard. Oh, like at 35? Like, you should be retiring. Well, whatever. Be well, but but like, if he's saying, though, I think that, like, once you're literally oh, older. Oh, old as fuck. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't just, be an just be old, old, wrinkled mess walking around. True. You know, just get out. Get your old pussy out of town. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's all. The this strip. is not a real place. LA's not a real place. It's on fire half the time. It's right. like, we're all buying into an idea. Yeah, that's true. So the idea is not your old snatch, you know, mm -hmm. and your sad stories. True. Go to I New know. York. They love that. They love an old wrinkled woman sitting in a jazz club telling stories. Yeah. But that's not true. That. Not you, go do that. You're allowed to have more of a personality in New York. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Express VPN. A uh, question for you. Which of my online searches does the government have a right to know about? Stinky feet, dirty feet. Sleepy feet? The answer, none. Those are mine and mine only, and no one needs to know about it. If you have ExpressVPN, you can keep it to yourself. Without ExpressVPN's protection, though, hackers, governments, ad companies, and ISPs all have full access to your data. I don't want them using my web history or video, or video searches against me. That's why I use ExpressVPN every time I go online. ExpressVPN encrypts and reroutes your web traffic to any number of countries, keeping you safer and secure. Simply download the ExpressVPN app, click to connect, and boom, you're protected. With ExpressVPN, you can make it seem like you're browsing from the different countries. So you can watch Netflix library in the anyone in the world that you want. Very cool. ExpressVPN is the fastest VPN I've tried, and it costs less than $7 per month. comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. It's time to stop government internet companies from keeping tabs on your data. Take back your privacy online like I did with ExpressVPN. Protect your online activity today and find out how you can get three months free at expressvpn.com slash your mom. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash your mom for three months free with a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash your mom to learn more. Guys, don't you wish you were at the post office right now? <laughs> Me neither. No way. Running a business or keeping up with your schedule takes a lot, and sometimes there just aren't enough hours in the day. You've got better and more important things to do, which is why we love stamps.com. We've uh, been a huge fan of stamps.com for years, years, years. Before they sponsored your mom's house, we use stamps.com to send out our merch why saves you trips to the post office you can print out official u.s postage 24 7 for any class of mail anywhere you want to send once your mail is ready you hand it to your mail carrier or drop it in the mailbox it is really just that simple it is such a no-brainer it saves you so much time and money it's no wonder over 700,000 small businesses already use stamps.com and right now our listeners get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long-term commitment go to stamps.com click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in mom that's stamps.com enter mom i live on a block with three tiktok kids they could buy and sell me okay i don't even TikTok. look at them directly in the eyes i know my place Wait a you minute. Know? You say you live by three TikTokers, like famous talkers? Yeah, they're pretty. Which ones? Because I, I, I think. Wait, I think I might. Is this. 
Look at the shoe one. Guys, this will be my last video for a while because I do not know how to make a PayPal and there ain't a son of a bitch in this family that's going to have the bucks it's going to take to bond me out because I might kill Cheryl today. That's right. Look at my fucking eye. Swole it plumb up there to that fucking scar where she stabbed me with a screwdriver the last fight she started with me. Yeah, I was over at Mama's last night just visiting and Cheryl jumped over the kitchen counter at me flying like Hussein Bolt in a fighting suit. I don't know why the bitch has always been jealous of me. So I, she run to the phone like the bitch made Cunt always does, and I said, you better call ever law in Sequoia County this time, bitch, because you're going to need help prizing my fingers from around your fucking dick-sucking throat. So I end up arrested in jail, but I'm out this morning, Cheryl, and I can still see that's right. You did swell it shut, bitch. And I'm coming over here today, and I'm going to do the two-step in the cowboy boogie till there's a mud hole in your fucking ass for me and Mama to stomp dance fucking dry. And the only phone call I need to be made is up to Agents Mallory Martin Funeral Home in Salas. I'll let them know they'll be wiping your fucking ass in the morning. I take it back. A coronavirus will do nothing to this country. <laughs> I think we're pretty immune, right? I mean, yeah, that's 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 why also, comedy's dead. It's like who, nothing can compete with that. Nothing can, no. Also, the, yeah. just a, the uh, words per minute alone yeah. is really impressive and quite good. She could have yeah. been an auctioneer. Yeah, right. like there, she could have been a nailed lot it. Of stuff. Yeah. She actually pronounced, you know, and are those? I think those are dentures because those teeth look too mm. good to be in her head. Her face. Yeah. yeah, I think she's lost probably some of her natural teeth. Right. Just living living wrong. Right. I'm saying, but I, I think those are those are dentures. Yeah. She seems like a wild woman. Oh, that's good talk. Whoa. What do y'all think? That was his talent. That was his, t that was his that TikTok. That was his skill. You see the way he was laying flat? Yeah. He just jumped. Were you impressed? I got to be honest. That didn't do it for me. No. <laughs> what? Let's, let's pretend. The first really? woman was a lot better. Let's yeah. pretend that this guy yeah. was somebody you just met. Yeah. And he, and he was like, check this out. Yeah. And he sent you that video. What yeah. do you respond back with? I, I tell him to keep working. <laughs> I'm like, listen, like you need to just put some other elements in there. Yeah. yeah Cause he's like, what do you think? And yeah. he had it in the caption. He was it was like, do I look really like Spider-Man or not? Himself. Yeah. And you can see it in his face. He's like, yeah, I just did some shit, bro. Been working on that. I hooked up with a drummer once, and then they sent me this guy sent me a video of him drumming, and it's the worst. It's like a, it sounds like a, a like a kid playing with yeah. pots do, and pans. Like, yeah. So it's like you, it, a lot of times you have to just tell people like, yeah, that great man. You told him great. Keep going. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, that's awesome. Lied. I love sounds. <laughs> Keep going because they you, think you're in a creative thing. They're like, I'm creative too. You're like, oh, good. Yeah, you guys are the same. So Did would you, you ever, bang this guy? Like, could you? I see mean, he's a song? child, so I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Say, oh, is he a chat? Let's is say this what the whole show is? Like Chris Hansen just runs out from the back. This is literally the whole show. Wait, it's wait, been wait. hours building rapport with me. So then I go, oh, yeah, fuck that guy TikTok. And they're like, at ah, 16. And I go to jail. That's the no, whole show. No. That's what your mom's wait, house Tim, up. Tim, do you like this kid? <laughs> yeah. So would you bang that child? It's like, no. No, well, no hold I wouldn't. On, hold on. Hear me out. I wouldn't even message well, him. We you know Hear how you guys out. are. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Hear me out. Maybe he wants it. It's let, like, no, no, no. But hear me out. He's Let's say he's like 20. No, no, you can't. You, he's, I mean, he's, no, he's not 28. He's not. Uh, he's not 28. <laughs> you can't but, be like, so pretend he's older. Because if he's okay. 28, he's okay. retarded. Hold like on. That's also bad. <laughs> then, then he's, develop he's developmentally okay. disabled. Okay. That's another problem. Well, we play a game Shit. called Deal Breakers here. So let's yeah. say this guy, you're talking to him, and he's brilliant. Yeah, he's all on. And he knows everything that you want him to know. He's rad. And he takes you back to his apartment. He's an adult. Okay, he's an adult. Oh. And he's like, hot. He's hot hot he's the guy you want but he does and he lays down and he goes it's a totally different situation it is a different situation yeah. it's a, it is okay. this is a deal breaker okay. oh, this okay. is a real fun okay. level no. of entrapment for to catch a this predator this is different so this They're is like what if he was an adult no this is this is okay it, it's a deal breaker question so he's the man of your dreams this guy okay you go back to his place and he goes i have something so cool to show you <laughs> and you're like all right so. And then he does this. So, yeah, this was yeah. a different guy. A different guy. It's not in minor. Okay, let's say. Yeah, I mean, listen. It's the guy a, of your dreams. Let's see if a really good looking guy did that, you'd be like, oh, he's funny. Yeah, right. That's a fun thing to do. That's good the looking difference. people get away. They good get looking away people with, get away with rape. With you, nonsense. A good looking guy will rape you. You'll wake up, you're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's They'll so true. will call you, text your girlfriend, you'll because be like, he's so fun. A beautiful it's woman so random. does that, and you're like, no shit, how do you fucking do that? You yeah. start acting like it's cool. But it's like, yeah, it's yeah. Like he's that, no longer retarded, now he's hot. It's like that Mark yeah. Norman joke. He goes, if a, if, a, if a woman goes home with a man and he's got a Nazi flag, he's like, I gotta get, the woman goes, I gotta get out of there. If a man goes home with a woman with a Nazi flag, he goes, I gotta fuck her and get out of here. <laughs> yeah, so it's yeah. like one of those. Gotcha. Things. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's why I was. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Just wanted to get on here to tell y'all that I think I'm leaving TikTok. 
<gasps> no. no. <laughs> I've enjoyed all the friendships. And Thanks for turning the volume up. <laughs> background. Some dramas going on. That I- no, really, don't leave. really. Cool. I didn't even know you were allowed to be on. I don't even have one. I didn't know you were allowed to be on it if you were over nineteen. <laughs> Like I had no idea that there were sixty-year-olds leaving TikTok. Oh, there are. Like make, emotionally making an announcement. You're like emotionally going. I have made a lot of friendships here. It's like that's illegal. What? That's that's against the law. What do you mean you've made a lot of friendships here? Right. What are you talking about? I mean, we had been yeah. day drinking in Florida, visiting yeah. my family, and we saw these little kids, like fifth graders, yeah, um, <laughs> by the pool in this place, and uh, we walked in on them, and they were choreographed. We we're like, "What are you doing?" And we've been drinking. Right. And they're like, oh, and they're in their school uniforms. They're like, we're right. making a TikTok. And we both were like, we're on TikTok. And and uh, they were like, oh, okay. These are like 10, 11-year-old yeah, girls. they think they're going to get kidnapped. And then they're like, what's your handle? And I was like, I've spelled it out for them. And then as we walked out, I realized that the last one I had posted <laughs> was me pulling my nipples and going like, uh, uh like that. <laughs> but I was like, oh, we got to go. We got to go. We got to get out of here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's one of those things, man. It's like old people have Facebook. That's yeah. where you go. Yeah. yeah, that's where you go to scream yeah. into the void, talk about your knee operation. <laughs> yes, talk about Donald Trump. <laughs> talk about dead animals. Talk scream about scream into the void. I yeah. mean, that's what it, it is. is. That's what you're there. That's what it's for. Yeah. I thought, you know, I thought it was so peculiar when Moshe was here, like a week ago. And he was like, he's like, really? He's like, I check Facebook every I almost, I forgot I to be like, it. what are you, 60? Yeah. Like, he's so into Facebook. No, he also likes to have arguments he's, with he people. He joined an argument group. Oh, that's fun. I bet you would like that. Oh. Well, anytime I see somebody trying to make a legit point on Facebook, I'm like, oh, you're insane. Like, yeah. there's nothing yeah. to be said. My favorite thing on Facebook is there'll be like a 300 comment thread. And it, it's de- it's totally degenerated, right? It's no longer about politics. Yeah. It's people threatening to fight each other. <laughs> yeah. It's like, why don't you say that to my face? It's like, I'll smack the shit out of you. And then my favorite is the one guy that hasn't accepted where the fight is and goes back to statistics. Oh, right. right like, it'll right, be one right, guy. Right. One guy's like, why don't you say it to my face? You're all tough because you're on a computer. I'll smack the shit out of you. And then the next guy goes, if we spent 3% more of our GDP on education. And it's like, that's not what it's about it's anymore. It's changed, man. It's, this isn't that now, you know? This is people threatening each other. Of course. It's a sad, it's, social media is sad. Very yeah. sad. Just sad. Well, not TikToks. I've been, TikTok's these fun. are joy. These bring me so TikTok much joy. TikTok makes more sense than a lot of the yeah. other social media apps because it's kids not taking it seriously. It's like they don't care. It's right. a goof. It's a joke. That's kind of what it should have been, yeah. but it became this. Uh, you know. Twitter is all like soapbox, like listen. soapbox. Oh, I, I this it. is the right way yeah. to say this, yes. and people are not saying it correctly right now. Yeah. Right. Look how many people retweeted this. Yes. And support my position. Twitter, and then yeah. Instagram is like, look how rad my life is, and how phony baloney. Yeah. stuff is and then yeah. this is real I this just is do like, like well, I have I, mental I, problems I try to put out like I put out <laughs> these little dumb videos we make that are funny and I put them out on social media and they're like ridiculous like, you okay. do hilarious stuff well I appreciate it it's just stupid stuff right like now. I'll be like I'm I dress up like a and I canvas for Bernie Sanders at Beverly Hills like yeah. I'm trying to climb that was over so fences. funny and you were walking down yeah. the street being like uh, right. are just, you home are you yeah, guys not yeah, home it's right like now states, you know? yeah yeah but it's just fun like dumb stuff like that so when i use these things i'm always using them to be like here's a video it's funny it's whatever and then you look at like other people the way other people are using it and you're yeah. like oh we're totally in a different totally different yeah. totally different world i mean I, for some people it's just it became i think people who just had nowhere to go and no one to talk to they're like this is what i can do now I can, so, someone's going to hear me. I have a, there was a guy on Facebook last night, a guy I used to do comedy with who's going, uh, if anyone has seen my son, please let me know. The son is like a toddler. His mother took him. I have full custody of him. I know where she is. Uh, the, the, the Department of Children and Family Services uh, is coming with me. I still can't take him. And it's like, it's a, just a Facebook thread about like uh, yeah, this yeah, crazy yeah. kidnapping. It's Who, crazy. Why would you share? Why Horrible. would you post that? People are just, you know, they want to crowdfund or crowdsource. Yeah, yep. You know. Well, let's go back to TikTok. Let's go back to where it's sunny. I love my mom very much because she bought, she bought me tickets to Boston to see my dad, March seventh on Saturday at three p.m. in the afternoon. Bye, Boston. Yay. Okay, baby. I bet there's a bunch of kidnappers that are like, pass. <laughs> Because he just gave them all the information to kidnap them. But a, a bunch of kidnappers just looked at each other and were like, yeah, you can take that one. I'm good. 
<laughs> what made you fucking pull this one, dude? Because he likes to go to Boston. You're not happy for him. He's going to see his dad. It was an uplifting one. How's his dad I feel said about that? I Bobby don't Kelly. Like men. I don't like boys, guys, anything. I do not. If you are deaf about it, then <sighs> fuck off. Okay. Interesting. Uh, uh, yeah, it is the most entertaining thing in the world. I mean, how much better is this? For all you know, I'm bisexual. Oh, switching. <laughs> what if I'm bisexual, for all you know? I may be bisexual. That was very I'm quick. It's very possible. quick. Yeah. We just saw somebody. The next one, he's just like, out. you know, in a rainbow wig. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> I also, I'm fine with a horse. I'm into women. And I don't just don't like the bitches who ask for money. Oh, oh yeah. Cunts. A bunch of cunts. Gold Got diggers. Fucking cocksuckers. And it gets men in my business. Who. You realize this. I don't care about being gay. And I never will be. Oh. Anyone who is, you're going to need to find someone else. Because I already have a girlfriend. Oh, oh this is a wait lot. Wait a of, minute. This is an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. yeah, it really is. But aren't you entertained? I'm entertained. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm worried. Yeah. I'm scared. Yeah. See, this is so much better than like any Bravo show or. Yeah. And this is better than what's on Netflix at the moment. Well, Besides Bravo. Tom yeah. Special. I mean, Bravo shows are like, let's just get 10 rich people, get them drunk. Someone's husband's yeah. going to kill them. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a Bravo show. Bravo yeah. shows like someone's got financial problems and their husband's going to kill himself. <laughs> We're going to find out within a season. Let's go. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. That's, that's what so Bra- that's what Andy Cohen does. Yeah. 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 And then he's guy. like, and then he gets him in the room and he's like, now when you discovered your financial problems, yeah. you were very sad, weren't yeah, you? They're, so they're like, oh, and they always have names like Taryn. You know, yeah. Yeah. So Taryn's husband threw himself off a building when he found out about their bankruptcy. And then Taryn canceled brunch. How did that make you feel? And I'm like, this guy is an agent of the devil. He like, really he's is. He's a real, yeah. He is. And he, he is. is the mastermind behind all that shit. Do you know what I saw him do? I read for a dumb thing on that network. I watched him walk in his office in New York City, and he like checked himself out in a picture of himself. There's a photo of himself in the lobby of his office, he, he checked himself out in the picture of himself. He was like, "That is something Satan would do. Right. <laughs> That's something the devil would do." Totally. Yeah, I saw like, that. Look at me. And I saw that. And I'm just sitting there, like, "Yeah, this is, you know." I do love it, though. We, I like, do mm, love Bravo. I should like, shit on it. I just like. I like, love the Shaws of I Sunset. Just, I love the real estate shows. Oh yeah. Because most realtors are brain dead, and <laughs> and they they amass these large fortunes by being brain. And it's like it's the funniest. Because none of the interactions are real. Like, none of the, yeah. like, they're all like, he's like, you want it for eight, but it's going to be for, you know, well, we're too far apart. It's really like nine. But, like, you know, a lot of those real conversations are like a realtor turning around and going, listen, be like, my client's trying to get out of China with his life right now. You know? <laughs> you know? The World Bank, you know, this guy, they want him for genocide. He poisoned a river, <laughs> but he loves this infinity pool. He's going to get his money out here, but you got to listen. I mean, this guy, I mean, he's a, they, they want him for narco trafficking. He's coming at, you know, this is the Sinaloa cartel. Let's make a deal. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, you know? You need, and, and instead it's like, I like the windows. It's like, that's not it. No, it's not that it. ain't it. Definitely I'll not. Tell you this that guy much. has killed entire families. Oh, yeah, in New York he City. he wants this apartment. Like, all the people yeah. that own these houses are like fertile Russian fertilizer magnets. Oh, yeah. yes. Chinese amusement park tycoons. <laughs> yeah. For yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. Now, I bet you were a fucking savage. Uh, what did you do? Subprime mortgage seller? I, was, uh, I sold subprime mortgages because I believe in people and their ability to own <laughs> homes. That's number one. That's number one. And I, I was stopped from doing that by a totalitarian government who does not believe in people the way that I do. So <laughs> sorry. Would you tell people who are like, I don't know if I can afford this. You're like, dude, by the way, I'm looking at America the is a country of thieves and criminals. Yeah. No one said, I don't think I can afford. I love that's true. By the way, I love that. That's such an innocent, great way to think about it. Yeah. Like there's someone on the phone where I'm like, Hey, we could get you 300 grand Thursday. And they go like this. I don't know <laughs> if I can afford it. No, it's America. No. Everyone's a dirtbag. They're bag. like, I can. They're like, can we get it Tuesday? Yeah. Can we get it Wednesday Can I make it 500? Morning? Yeah. So the, it's actually not, I mean, I'm sure the predatory lending went on, things like that went yeah. on, but the majority of people that I worked with were uh, selfish yeah. scoundrels yeah. that wanted money. 
Were you ever? I gave him money. Did you ever? I bought a subprime to, mortgage. I bought a house with a subprime mortgage. You did? Yeah. Did you ever get to the like? Did you ever have somebody, whatever, who's I don't know the ins and outs of it, but applying and you looked at their stuff and you're like, there's no way this we can give this guy anything. Well, the worst one we had was a guy who was clearly like had dementia mm-hmm. or didn't know where he was, and his son wanted to open up a strip club in Miami, and his son just took all the money out of his house, and we were sitting at the closing. And we're signing papers, and this old guy is like struggling to sign papers. And his son is like, "Keep signing, Daddy. It's almost over." And the closing attorney said, "I'm not really comfortable with this." And I'm like, "Yeah, it ain't great, but you know, you I mean, do? at that point, you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah. You know, yeah. shout out to the Vasquezes. Um, <laughs> but there again, it's a guy that came to me. He's like, "My father's, you know, an old guy. I want to suck all the money out of his house yeah. and go up into a strip club." It's yeah. like, all right, how's that strip club doing? You know." I don't know, Tom, but <laughs> if I was a betting man, yeah. you know, I don't know. I bet that's a great business. Though. I think it I is. Really and, and I, I love sales. I miss it. And yeah. I yeah. just, I love it. I love a, I love sitting in a room with uneducated people <laughs> calling people over the phone and trying to build an empire. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that's what my boss would say to all of us. Like we really? would take, some of us would take the bus to get there because they had like Dewey's and stuff. Yeah. My boss would be like, you're building an empire. You understand oh that? God. That's what you're doing. And we'd be like, wow, you're right. You know? <laughs> yeah. You're right. Did you like the boss? He was a good dude. He had a, uh, uh, a, he had a scar from his ear to his mouth. Whoa. And he goes, he goes, you know why I have the scar? And we're like, no. And he told us one day, he goes, because I was thrown out of a car. The winch- I th- was thrown through the windshield of a car at four years old. He goes, you know what that taught me about? And we said, what? He goes, responsibility. We don't know what that meant. What? No one asked him. We have no idea what that meant. But it was just like to us, we we're like, fuck yeah. yeah we we're man. like 22. We we're like, yeah. that's a man. That's a man right there. That's a man. That's that how got, you get a scar on your face. That got in a car accident. And it was also 2009. So it's like the economy had already crashed. How long did you have that gig for? I had it from like 2006 right to 2009, like 2010. So like the end. Wow. Of, so like right at, at the height of it. And then the end. And then when the end, I mean, is there a day where you went into work and they're like, there's no more work? Yeah. I went, and went into and they, I went in and we got a quote of the day every day. And then the quote of the day that day was good luck. Wow. And they said, we're ceasing all U.S. operations. I was 22. I just bought a $600,000 house in Long Island with a subprime mortgage. And it was pretty wild. So then we went to, we went to Hula Hands. We're at the bar at Hula Hands. We're getting hammered. We're, I was drinking back then. And then uh, we were just kind of like, we we're all looking at each other. And my boss, Scar, was like, uh, we'll figure it out. And we're like, okay. And he's like, we're going to get another shop. He called them shops. He's like, we're going to get another shop. Don't you boys worry. And we're like, oh, okay. And then we did. I mean, he got another thing, but it just, you know. And did you say, did you work in that one? Yeah, but it was bad. I mean, it was just sad. You couldn't get yeah. loans done anymore. And it was just, you know, it was just, you know. What happened to your house? It was foreclosed on. I mean, and- I guess. I've never went back to it. You never I, went back? Well, I went back. Now a, a new family lives there now. But I mean, yeah, it was. I had to walk away from it. I mean, at that point, even if I had the money, it had lost 40, 50 percent of its value, and yeah. it just crashed. The whole market. Did you walk crashed. away immediately? Or, no, I oh. was there two years. Two oh, you say? Oh, okay, okay. And then in like two thousand nine, ten, it had lost so much equity that it was kind of like, what are we doing? Mm. You know, wow. I tried to do everything I can. I moved in a family upstairs. I rented it out. I moved in a guy downstairs, a guy that my mother knew from the mental institution. He cool. was a lounge singer named Phil. Um, not reliable. Uh, <laughs> who knew? Uh, but was I your mortgage crazy on that place? 4400 a month. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's hefty. That's hefty. You know, plus taxes and insurance. Yeah, it's a lot. So it was wild. So that was, a, you know, but it was crazy. And I was drinking every night, you know, hanging out at a bar up the block from my house called Lisa's Lounge, you know, productive. <laughs> uh, and I was boozing it up. And then I was like, all right. So that was like 2010 that all ended. I got into comedy. I quit drinking, you know. So you're 10 years in now? 10 years in, yeah. Wow. wow. Started, it was like a big, uh, that was like the end of 2010. I started, started in like September 2010. I did my first open mic. Yeah. You had yeah. the best promo video. Uh, well, I appreciate I re- you retweeting it. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. It made me like, yeah. it opens with the, the planes crashing in the Twin well, Towers. It defined, <laughs> yeah, my manager's like, my manager's like, <laughs> what are you doing with that? <laughs> he called me. I just tell my manager talks. He goes, Usually everything I do is great. He just goes, yeah. it's great. It's great. You, yeah. know, he did, he, you know, but he called me up. He goes, hey, what are you doing with the, the Twin Towers? <laughs> Trying to promote, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, it's defined my generation. He goes, oh, right. But he still didn't love it. 
but yeah. the rest of the video was fine. Well, you had you had all kinds of. I mean, uh, that just that really grabs a viewer on the open. Well, yeah. that's what we what's thought. The, what's yeah. the video? So it's, it's the just Twin a Towers, promo. Uh, it's I don't know if you can find it. Is there oh, music? Yeah, it's on my Twitter. It's just a promo. Is there music? Is there fa- popular music in it? Uh, it's ELO's Mr. Brightside. So oh, maybe I love that yeah. Song. So we can't play that. So just mute it, but you can actually mute see. mute it. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be. I don't know where it is. It's going to be there somewhere. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. There it is. The Twin Towers, yeah. Wendy's, Chicken yeah. Throne, uh, the President's Head. Yeah. So it's got, okay, you start from the beginning here. Yeah, it was just, you know, this is a little yeah. recap of my childhood at 45 Yeah, yeah, seconds. and it's throughout. So I was an actor as a kid from 6 to oh. 12. Oh, yeah. you were? Yeah. Uh, McCain, Lehman Brothers. Swimmer, Opioid Crisis. Yeah, there's you again. <laughs> then there's like Syria, Hillary Clinton, you again, pills, <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's, Alex Jones, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, there's, oh, oh there it is. The top hat. Yep. And then Abu Ghraib and then Wendy's again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Abu Ghraib. Uh, CIA, there's black ops stuff going on. There you are. Yeah, there it is. I cancel this your is family. amazing. Cancel yeah. your family tour, fuck. So and that's kind of what... Um, then, I you know, love I mean, that. Come on, that was great, man. It was a fun one, yeah. I great. appreciate Fantastic. that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, cancel your family is the name of the tour? Yeah, because that's that's what I'm urging people to do is cancel their family and friends and yeah. not celebrities that you know did something offensive. Exactly. Cancel the people closest to you. Oh, that's Smart. a great message. It's it's my message. That's, mm-hmm. I, that's a message I can get behind. I think it's just necessary. It also makes, um, you know, if you're... You're into canceling. It makes a lot more sense to take to f- yeah. feel that way about someone you actually know. Worry, you know, worry about yourself, man. Yeah. It's so many conversations I have with people that are like upset with their family or they hate their hometown. It's like just leave, just yeah. go. Yeah, Shut up for it. I'm a big advocate of that, especially yes. when you're on the road. Yeah. Someone's like, I fucking hate it here in which and you're like, yeah. So why are you here? So, yeah, do so I. go. That's why I'm go. leaving on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Go. Yeah. Do I hate like I that. hate Gainesville. Get get in your yeah. car and leave. Yeah. yeah. Drive yeah, away. It's a free country, bro. Yeah. What are you asking for? It's just another talk. If oh. we have, I, I'm just so I curate these lovingly, and I, I just want. By to the make way, sure before I forget, I love do you because th- we yeah. um we talked discuss this. Do you think that Aaron Hernandez could have been like a gay icon if he had stopped murdering oh. people and just? Not I don't that. know. I just love that documentary. Everybody was like, "Wait a minute!" They were also shocked. I'm like, yeah. what's shocking? But it's like they're like, "Wait a minute!" So he murdered someone, and then he played football again. <laughs> like we know athletes. Kill people. Yeah, yeah. We know rich people kill people. Yeah. Why is this a thing? Uh, I don't know. Perhaps. I think if he had um, not the brain damage he had. I Yeah. I it, the, the gay thing is in a weird space now because I would have thought like more actors would have came out or more sports people and like that really hasn't happened. That's true. Yeah. So it's still it's kind of weird that it's 2020 and there's still closeted people. Right. And uh, the in, only, like high profile. The and, mm. and the thing about sports is that because I been saying for years yeah. that a big thing of like norm like making it not not a sensational story would be if a star player in any of the big sports yeah. was like oh no gay i'm gay right. and and i'm the best in this league then right. everyone would be forced to be like oh wow yeah and then it kind of changes but we've only seen uh retired players come out yeah and then and usually like people not, with nothing to lose and, and they not significant great. players yeah they weren't great yeah no you need an all-star yeah, which you like need somebody big. If he, you know, I don't know. We just, it could have been him. I thought it, it could have been him. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I forget I have a uterus. We've seen and because of that. Sometimes I forget to take my testosterone, and when I forget to take my testosterone, I go take a poo poop, and there's blood, and I'm like, oh no! But it's it's just a period. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is what I mean about things getting a little out of control. Right. This is a little out of hand. Yeah. I don't know that I signed up for this. This is a, a little I didn't really much. sign up for this. This is a lot. This is a lot. This is not even about sexuality anymore. This has gone down another rabbit hole. And I don't know what it is, but it's something's off. If you are on... There's 2,000 gender. I mean, you well, know, I love your... Thing. Dude, with that Asheville gender thing. Oh, yeah. It's made me cry. Thank you. We watch it. I watch it over and over. I Which show one? people. When I came out as astral gender <laughs> on the, a morning show. It's, oh, Because right. those, we all have to do this morning, you know, those yeah, mornings. And it's so like, painful. That the is best is... The, uh, it's the best. In the, it's not in that video. I don't think that when I... Well, first of all, you can see one point when I say something and she goes... Like yes. it, it shakes, yes. it sh- makes her shiver, and yeah. then I got to get in the car with the club manager that day, Great. and it was an immediate phone call, immediately, yeah, from that lady, and she was like, "I don't know what is up with that guy, but that was weird, and yeah. we did not like it." Like yeah. I got to hear her 
tell her like well, Please. dude, you you go to these morning radio, uh, morning radio, morning TV things, and it's like kind of hilarious. You're like, this still happens. Uh, I know it's crazy, and you know it's, it's not moving tickets it's like, for the weekend. Good morning, Dayton. It's like, yeah. whoa, yeah. who's watching that? Who, and go on to your show. Just at meth night. heads that are still tweaking from the night before. Nobody's you know? watching. They that convince show. you, they lie to you that it's a, it, this is for you, and right. then you find out that this is for them. Right. Of course. This is about their relationship. Yeah. Nobody watching that's coming to the show. Nobody, Nobody cares. Nobody. Not a person. Yeah. But back to this. Yeah. This is officially like I'm old because I'm not with this at all. Like there's so much shit going on yeah. that I don't understand. Well, what like, is I know, what, I know what, what, what are saying. you confused by? She, <laughs> if she doesn't take her testosterone, then she poops but, and there's but, blood. But this isn't like, you know, when you're a younger person and you're like, oh yeah, I get like that's, we have this kid at my school who's like this. <laughs> right. And then you're like, oh, this is just this thing. Those this glasses, is... by the way, are usually on TikTok people, you know? like <laughs> The Dahmers? Yeah. The, well, you those, know what are, it is, man? those are the Dahmers. It's never someone that looks normal that has this. Hit. It's no. never someone that doesn't have two-tone hair and glasses. Yeah. <laughs> like, I want someone in khakis and a sweater going, he didn't take my testosterone. So, <laughs> you know what happens when I go number two? <laughs> Hello, mother. You know, like, wait, can I get a Connecticut wasp who's right. experiencing this? That would be and amazing. Maybe That's I'll kind of come to the yeah. I'll come to the thing more. I yeah. don't know. This That's this true. definitely is much more. It's just more. like why does everybody who's experiencing a lot of these gender issues is also like a real nerd? Yeah, and like they're really <laughs> into the Lord of the Rings, and it's like, right? You, are you just sick? And then <laughs> do you just want to be a Hobbit or Mister Tumnus from the but that, that Narnia that mm -hmm. begs the question: like, what percentage of the population are we talking about? How come we're not seeing studs? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a, a dude in a... Well, I know put real, together. Like, real transgender is people that are like, I'm a dude or I'm a chick. And then yeah. they go do something to make it so. Right. That's real. Right. People that have this other thing where they're like, oh, I don't identify as anything. It's like, you identify as annoying right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're identifying... You just, it's just these upper middle class... At least you got money. Upper middle class white women that don't want to be victims so they're kind of like well you know what i'm actually it's like a, it is binary. an identity it's like when yeah. in the 90s when people were bisexual in high school yeah and then that it's like this is the version of bisexual like yeah, i'm well, not this is the version man. of like you know these people just you know they want to have a personality but because the internet has flattened everyone to the point where they don't have personalities they don't even know how to talk to anyone anymore right. yeah that this is their substitution for that yeah, that's, that's true, true. Yeah. that is very true yeah Oh boy. Y'all are wondering what's going on with the face tattoo. It's a very slow, slow, slow process. It doesn't it's going to take up to maybe two, three years for it to actually see some major, major results. Yeah. But sometimes certain lighting makes it look darker and certain <laughs> yeah. air lighting makes it's it look lighting. brighter. But you know, yeah, I made some very horrible, regrettable. If you won't call them regrettable, I don't. They're just mistakes I've made in the past because of drugs and alcohol. That's just part of life. At least I'm omitting I made mistakes. Omitting. At least I'm owning up to He's my mistakes. Mittening. And trying to fix myself now. He mittened. Because this weekend I turned 36. Oof. I got to have a straight life. So that way I can be more independent, more better off, and better example for the younger generation. Wow. I love y'all. I'm sending prayers your way. Thinking about you. Keep your chin up. I like that he's an example for the younger generation. I like that he's anointed himself an example. See what I did to my face? Yeah. You guys in, in your youth right now. Yeah. Don't don't be don't be like Well, I, I will say that he kind of you kind of need this guy because there's people tattooing the shit out of their faces right now. Yeah. There's a yeah. lot of kids tattooing their face and that's not gonna be a lot out of kids well. putting the tattoos on their face. Dude, Cindy Crawford's son, hot model dude. Really? Did uh was it misunderstood? Was that what the word was, Nadav? <gasps> oh, boy. Go similar. Google this guy, Cindy Crawford's son, who makes it's money as a so model. Much. Oh, my God. I thought that was him. I was like, I Jesus. Was, who the hell did she have sex with? Who the hell did she fuck? Was it a mistake, huh? Please do not let me, please. God. I love you. <coughs> there he is. And then look at his what? look at his face. And then he got a facial tattoo that says misunderstood. Oh, man. Well, they're all they're all drinking bleach. I mean, they're all drinking like, <laughs> I mean, all these kids are doing drugs we've never even heard of. I know they're just, just slurping down toilet bowls full L of robots. Look at him. <laughs> look at this fucking guy. I look mean, at the life I mean, he was yeah, handed. Dude, he was this like, guy. Yeah. I mean, people like that. They're all upset and they're white and hot. Fuck you. Yeah. Check out. Fuck I'm you. sick of it. I've had it.
I've had it with hot young white people complaining about their lives. I know. Enough. Misunderstood. Wuhan. Get him. Fuck you. <laughs> Look, for real. Oh, boy. All I'm saying is that if your coochie Babe. stink. What? His peppy's small. Y'all blown together. Okay. Somebody <laughs> left a previous comment saying that my eyeliner should not be thicker than my eyebrows, which I didn't realize. So I hope in this <laughs> video that my eyebrows look better. These people are real. These This is not improv. No, that's this why is not it's so characters. good. That's why it's yeah. so good. I got to get on this because I, <laughs> I, I didn't know that yeah. this was going on here. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's great. to her credit, these are all pulled from her feed. Yeah. Um, you got to start liking the, the She's right. She's curated. Yes. Yeah. yeah you got to start liking the right types of talks. Algorithm. Right. So the algorithm feeds you. I just see like little kid, like good looking young kids like oh, dancing. No. 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 And they have like 20 trillion. No, I don't even a little know. time My feed doesn't the even hole. get this. I just want all the lesbians who are proud of being gold stars to stop. That's just rooted in misogyny. It's biophobic. It's transphobic. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't make you any gayer. Virginia doesn't exist. And it's heteronormative as hell. Yeah, this country's not going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just two minutes of this. I'm like, yeah, it's not going to work out. Like, it's just to me, the presidential debates are hilarious. It's like, respond to that. This, uh -huh. Like, this Joe is... Biden should have to make sense of her. Like, Joe Biden, speak on this, please. Because misogyny, heteronormative, every yeah. other Virginity stupid. isn't real. Yeah. When people say shit like that, like, when people say that things that are real aren't, aren't real, real uh -huh. with just with certainty. Yeah. You know, but there's like, there's no objective reality now. Didn't you know? You didn't get the memo. No. There's no such thing as yeah. truth or objective reality. Yeah. It's whatever whatever you say it is. It is. Whatever you say it is. Yeah. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> I didn't mean to do this. Please call me. I didn't mean to do this. I don't know why you're so mad at me. I he, love you. This guy's he, the most normal one. Yeah. <laughs> he thought it was a direct message. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh. Yeah, they don't get that it's an app. It gets blasted to the world. He's like, I'll just put this, this to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Think about it. Dude. Oh, shit. Yep. Oh, is it there? Oh, I'm sorry, here. baby. Yeah. I didn't mean to do this. Please call me. I didn't need to do this. I he doesn't even seem so upset. Oh. I love you. I love you. I apologize. <laughs> oh, my God. Baby, call me, please. <laughs> you said you're wide awake and everything, but you're not calling me. Or at least text me and let me know what you're it's doing. It's not to one person. <laughs> I love you. Now, does this guy have followers? He has followers. I, just, yeah. I he does so. now. <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh, fuck. He's at Arnold 2021. Let him know that this is not a private. Actually, no, don't let him know. Don't Encourage let him know. Encourage him to. Yeah. No, let him Tim more. just needs to see this last one here. This, this one is, this is a classic. All right, outlaws. Listen up. What makes you all think we're related? No, no, stop this. Let me see this. Listen here, motherfuckers. You've done pissed me the fuck off, and I'm already in a bad goddamn mood today. Well, little advice to those that think we're cousins. No, the fuck we're not. I'm not related to her. I'm no kin to her. And if you keep the shit up, I'm calling the fucking CEO, and every one of y'all's little goddamn accounts are getting shut down. Do I make myself clear? Just FYI, he's Cherokee. Stop. I'm not native. Stop. At all. <laughs> you all have a loud mouth. Well, secrets out. Fuck with us and watch what happens to your accounts. Goodbye. So, well, wow, that's powerful. Uh, they, they are clearly related. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never seen two people that look more alike. Than those two people <laughs> I know. In life. Yeah. yeah. And they're tired of hearing it. They're they really tired of it. it. But you know what? Also, just keep keep having fun. Do what you got to do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not making a huge difference. No. But also, do you think he has the CEO of TikTok's phone number? Well, in no, his... because isn't TikTok from China? Isn't it like a <gasps> China? TikTok is a Chinese. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah come, and it's like facial recognition software and all that stuff. Yep, so, you're right. I mean, if he just burst out into Mandarin and called the head of that TikTok, I was like, oh, no, oh, no. Like, I would be like, wow. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> yeah, that was my fake Mandarin. <laughs> We're all gonna have to get much better at that because Whoa. of the, the Wuhan flu, which we can't we can't call the Wuhan virus because it's racist. It sounds like it, right? Yeah, Wuhan. You can't call it Wuhan because it's racist. No, we gotta oh call it something else. Hmm. Oh, fuck.
I'm going to get on this app now. I didn't realize yeah. how fun this it's was. It's fantastic. Well, I thought it was just dumb kids dancing. No. Oh, what is, not um, my TikTok. If you yeah. want to follow my stories, they're I'm in gonna my Instagram stories. I'm going to follow everything you do now. Yeah. The You're going to be like the person who who I watch and follow. And you got it. She's a great leader on the TikTok. Yeah, forum. yeah, you're Thank gonna, you you're gonna, gonna lead you. me. We got this video that I have not seen. Uh, Star Child, uh, a new Star Child. Yeah. yeah. What, oh. Okay. Hey, Captain Star Child here, live from. Oh yeah. Ooh, live from the shitter. Oh, man. man. Oh. Oh my God! Really? He's pulling. Yeah. He doesn't care about. God damn late. it! It happened again. The motherfucking shit just come out my fucking ass. Thank God I made it to the toilet. I was about to pop that shit on the grass outside. Okay. Um, he's not a star or a child. He's not. Do you know, um, I was uh, a year and change ago on Larry King's show, and they released the video like three weeks ago. That's how long. Oh, really? Yeah. And then we found some of his... Um, Stammers that I didn't even realize happened. Oh They're God. pretty significant and a lot of fun. Starring alongside Mark Wahlberg and Rose Byrne <laughs> in Instant Family. All right, you share the screen with Mark, Bo Wa Wa Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I got it. Yeah. Know him a long time. What was that like? Do you think something happened in his head? Like, it seemed like a lot. Mark Bo Wa Wa it's a Mark stroke. Wahlberg. It's a mini stroke. It's a mini stroke. At that age, they just uh, those blood vessels just start popping. Yeah. yeah. Um, Guilty pleasure. Chocolate souffle. Chocolate souffle. Chocolate souffle. Oh, chocolate souffle. Oh, yeah. he's he's toast. <laughs> <laughs> he's absolutely shot. <laughs> we, uh, chocolate souffle. Chocolate souffle. Yeah. Uh, we found... Um, They're great, by the way. A good souffle. Is, a good souffle is amazing. It's got to cook in a water bath. Um, we found... We had the listeners do a dive on other misfires oh, yeah, from his mouth, and we, we were able to get this one. Nicole Fenstermaker, her seven-year-old daughter, Abby, died from E. coli complications in May of this year. And Bill Marler, he's an expert on foodborne illness litigation. He's been litigating on this issue since the Jack in the Box E. Kyle outbreak. E. Kyle O. E. Kyle E. Kyle outbreak in 1993. I mean, E. Kyle E. Kyle outbreak. How old is he? He's 86 now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's time to go. It is. E. Kyle outbreak. E. Kyle O. E. Kyle. Yeah. E. Kyle outbreak. Yeah, it's I think if he gets Wuhan, it's just good night. Oh, it's immediate. That, that night. <laughs> immediate. That night, it's over. Immediately. Yeah. My tongue got caught in my teeth. I could not see what I was saying. Hmm. Well, he's had a good run. He really has. But it's, t it's time to wrap it up. You shouldn't be broadcasting for 50 years. No, at 86, it's going to be rough. Well, that's yeah. such narcissism. I mean, just yeah, it's, nobody lock wants, it up. Nobody's willing to admit their best work is behind them. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's yeah. so gross. And in your 80s, you should. You should. You should be like if you're if you're waiting for your eighties to pop off, it's been it's a problem. Um, one last thing here. This is one of our classics. For all your beautiful no. women, you feel me? Just let me eat you yeah. one time. Just let me eat you one time, and you're gonna. I guarantee you, you're gonna you're gonna ask me to stay to your house. No you gonna you gonna sleep for three days, my baby. I mean, this is a man who is dedicated, and he's making a pretty big offer. It is a great offer, and it's all he wants you to do. Guess what? I can show you what time it is. Sure enough, I tell you, they got a man up above. I can cook for you, clean up your house. You heard me? Listen, when you come home, baby, you just got to jump, jump, jump in the tub with all them bubbles. He just doesn't want you to have a stinky box. Yeah, he just, has, he just wants you to jump in the tub with all them bubbles. Right? I, yeah. Guess what? I'm, I'm with you good. 100%. I'm Get good. Get with that ball. I'm going to show you. I'm going to make you cry. How you going to show us? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. I hate that he doesn't have teeth. That always I think bothers he's me. probably happier than any of us will ever be. No. I think you're 100% right. You know what I mean? Yes. I think when you're that out there, yeah. you just, he thinks that's the way the world, like this is a guy who thinks this is how technology works. Right. He's like, I just want to eat you, baby. And he's the, he thinks that putting this out there will result in being able to eat some babies. Yeah, he goes, I just want to eat some pussy and I'm yeah. just going to put it out. Would you, you know, not? Okay. Let's do, the, yeah. let's do the porn scenario. Yeah. You're broke. It's been so nice having you. You're it's thanks it's for been coming. Amazing. In. You're broke. Yeah. 
you need to pay rent. Mm-hmm. Let me eat you one time shows up. And he what? Pays, <laughs> it's rent? It's, just rent? rent. Now keep in mind, you're also going to sleep for three days. <laughs> which is maybe the hook of the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, that's a huge... What do you think? Wait, hold on. Does he get to go down on me or do I have to have a full intercourse? Well, what do, what do I have to do with him? You lay there and let him eat you and then he fucking wears you out. I don't know if he can have full intercourse. I think that's why he's making the eating... <laughs> That's why he's making that paramount. Do you think he struggles to perform? I, I think maybe he does. I don't know. Maybe his penis got lost in a tractor accident or something. That's why he's like, <laughs> can, let me start with eat you, baby. Can I do a dental dam? Can you do a dental dam? No, no. He needs to taste it. <laughs> he needs to. He needs no, to. I'd rather be homeless. What? I'd rather be homeless. But then he's going to eat it anyway. Cry, girl. A lighter, boy. I'm telling you. <sighs> so gross. Dude. Is it? I ain't nothing nice. You hear me? I'm Federer. I'm Federer. Once I touch your booty. I'm Federer? Yeah. Like the tennis player? He's Roger Federer. This guy's intriguing. See? No, I'm like, don't I encourage know what he it, thinks about. Tim. Wouldn't you want to see other videos of his? I w- yeah, Please I want to know what I'm, he thinks. I'm good. I want to know what he thinks about like tax policy. No, you like, don't. I want to ask him, like, what do you think about trade? No, you don't. Because those guys have the best answers. Yeah, they do. They have, it's nothing to do with, you know. <laughs> Dude, like, he's like, like trade. It's just like you your pussy. booty in your kitty cat. But I'm going to put my hand in there. And I'm going to smell it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. How could you not want to fuck this guy? Babe. Now, does this guy have a TikTok where he's uploading this or no? No. no. This no. is what no. he correct. needs. No, Someone is correct. <laughs> Someone is uploading him. But don't you think. Someone's taking advantage of him. He has a manager. But he will he get the not, booty no. if he got on TikTok. And he, he started would. an account. Somebody would be like, I'm, I like this guy. This guy's cool. Yeah. How do we have access? One love. You think it's a game? It's not a game. Right? I ain't going to play with you, my baby. I'm going to put my hand in your kitty cat. No, in your face. I got it. <laughs> and I'm gonna do that. I'm okay, gonna we gotta go. We gotta go, Tom. We gotta go home. <laughs> so I'm so su- you, so you know why? Serious. If you clean, you clean. If you dirty, you dirty. I'm gonna let it be known. I'm gonna let it be known with my hand. <laughs> God love him. But he's the best. I can't believe you would not fuck this guy for six months, right? Babe, I'd rather die. Okay. I would br- I would rather fuck Larry King for six months. Jesus. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, that would kill. Him. That would kill him. I know. You said you'd rather kill Larry King. Yeah. Sock and souffle. I'd rather fuck Larry to death. Oh. All right. All right. Um, Tim, plug all your stuff. Yeah. T- uh, Tim J Dylan D I L L O N on social media. So that's Instagram and Twitter. Tim J Dylan D I L L O N. Tim Dylan Show on YouTube, which is our podcast, which is really fun. And we have it's on Apple Podcasts and we're, you know all the BS wherever Spotify whatever, uh, Tim Dillon Show on YouTube and uh, social media and uh, you you're know. a hilarious follow. Thank you, dude. A great comedian. I appreciate uh, it. Go see him live. Go get tickets. Thank all you. at TimJDillon.com dot com. Tim t- Tim Dillon Comedy dot com. Tim Dillon Comedy. We're about to go on thirty five week. Uh, tour you Cancel know? your family tour Cancel your family tour and Word up We appreciate it Yeah I'm, we gotta do this again Please come Please, back Please no. Anytime I Thank you so much for having me Alright we'll see you soon Thanks Bye. guys Bye. Thanks guys Yeah you got it I got it Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. Please continue to watch more. You can see all these where my hand's gesturing. You can click on those. And please subscribe if you have not yet. And subscribe button, and then we'll get your money. Thanks.